Hello and welcome to a Think Alpha series event, March 18th at 12 a.m. We will be kicking it off, not quite that time yet, in uh, the eastern part of North America. So wherever you are now, we're watching this later. Greetings to you. Joined by uh, Sane SC and Steve currently. What's hey. up, guys? Hey, what's up, guys? <laughs> We're just hanging out in the chat, waiting for the games to start here. Yeah, it should be a great event. It is dedicated to uh, the foreign food war community. Uh, yeah, I just yeah. want to give a big shout out to all the fantastic events and series in no order. Well, alphabetical order, Bombastic Star League, the Brood War Clan League, the Brood War UMS community, uh, BWG's Weekly, BroodWarMaps.net, the Coach Pupil League, Death Fate Pro League, Engineering Bay, the Rogues Gallery, Rookie Star League, the Russian Cyber Games, Shinhan Tank Pro League, Star Edit Network, Titans Del Ring, TL.net, and uh, many others I'm sure that I have missed. My apologies if I mispronounced any of them. But this is sort of a foreign brood war community oriented event and series, and we just want to dedicate it to all the wonderful Brood War fans, players, organizers, casters, map makers, AI developers, uh, graphic designers, all the people out there who love this old game and are enjoying it during this uh, unfortunate time. I think there's a there's a strong feeling here between us casters and of course all the fans that this is a big event in foreign brood war community you know having some really strong and well-known korean players on an english stream this is a huge moment i think for you think the so? foreign scene yeah, really excited yeah. to see it you guys really uh make all of us feel nervous about it it's just <laughs> it's just a show match right it's not a big like series or leagues like uh other wonderful Organizers yeah, have set up, um, but um, I'm I'm glad you're you're around and hopefully things go according to plan. Ample and Yapsav are supposed to play in uh, 20 minutes, a best of three, and then we're supposed to have best and light um, play afterwards. I was told seven games. I will be observing and. Uh, Bork, Sane SC, and Steve Young will be helping me by making sense of what's yeah, going on um, on the screen and yelling at me when I make any mistakes. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're in the mecca of StarCraft. I'm actually in the Korean server. Yeah, I'm in channel um, Alpha X where hopefully I'll get to see Best in Light. It brings me uh, back to like teenage memories. There was something called KBK Knights Bridge Koreans, I think in year 2000, 2001. And uh, the winners of that tournament would go to uh, the island, Steve. It's, is it pronounced Jiju? No, not. Uh, I feel not like I butchered the pronunciation. But there's an island in Korea, isn't it called J E J U? Is that how you spell it? Ah, Jeju. Jeju, Jeju. Yeah, so the KBK winners could go there, and at the end, I think like Elki and other GG members had went there, and there was some oh. controversy around how they got there. But anyways, I remember three in the morning, I was in this channel, and it's just filled with people. There comes Slayer Boxer, and I think, okay, this is interesting because the name is exactly like Slayer Boxer spelt it. But I was like, this could just be somebody else. <laughs> But he was just immediately greeted by, uh, you know, there, there's probably more than 100 people in that channel. I was like, yeah, this is him. And it was just such a groupy moment um, to be inside a battle net. 
channel at like three in the morning and see Slayer Boxer and it just kind of wakes you up and makes you feel kind of special. So uh, I've always loved this aspect of uh, Brood War and the Koreans sort of occupying the space they do and uh, bridging different like racial communities together. I think that's a really cool thing about the StarCraft community and other gaming communities. It kind of fights against racism or just, you know, brings different like regional communities together, like makes you more acquainted with each other, um, if that makes sense. Makes sense to me. I mean, it sucks to have everyone divided up into, you know, certain languages. It's a bad situation. You want to bring everyone together so that we can all enjoy this game and right. see the best possible matches. And with the most possible prize money, the most possible viewership, that would be the uh, the best thing for the sport, really. Um, it's unfortunate that we do have that language divide, but hopefully we can bring people together in the future, keep this game alive. It's very important to do so. Um, before we start this, uh, you know, I was taking a look at light versus best on the ultimate battle channel i'm not sure if you guys got a chance to watch that the ultimate battle light versus best was on january 2nd 2021 they played it was yeah. a very good match there and uh their record overall was 115 wins for light 153 wins for best so they played a lot of games against each other uh, all time and recently best has been doing really good against light he was like three and seven and he extended that lead uh, seven wins three losses against light so um i don't know who you guys are cheering for i'm not as familiar with yab sab but i'm really excited for best yeah, um... against light i'm a big best fan Steve, can you say anything about uh, Yapsab and Ample, especially ASL qualifiers? Do you have any information about whether they participated, how they did? Yeah, uh, let me tell you that uh, Yapsab won the ACS tournament and he, uh, he got a chance to do a qualifier final, which means he just uh, won the only one game that he could qualify the ASL, uh, but he failed. I don't know who uh, who was who his ID was, uh, but his Korean name was Yoon Soo Chuk, and he uh, he lost to that player, uh, unfortunately. And, uh, yeah, but ACS is you know very enough uh, hard to win the win the tournament. I mean, uh, there are lots of decent Koreans. Uh, maybe we, uh, they will not meet Gan, such as Gan or Ampo in that tournament, but uh, that's pretty much uh, amateur. Uh, pr yeah, yeah, that's like an amateur tournament, amateur best tournament. So yeah, that 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 means he's a decent player enough. We all, uh, I sometimes met him on the ladder and I just, <laughs> I was like literally just, uh, yeah, dead, <laughs> dead, uh, was, yeah, he was great, he's aggressive, and yeah, he's a decent sir, I remember. What about Ampo? Ampo, Ampo was, uh, even participated in NPL Season 2. Yeah, he was decent, he won the s several games, and he, his team was even go, uh, going for the actual Grand Finals. Yeah, uh, he's a real good player, he's proven already. So I'm looking forward to uh, the, the result, uh, although it's uh, only BO3. Hi, Steve. It was some. Is there an underdog in this matchup between Ample and Yapsap, Steve? Oh, uh, yeah, definitely Yapsap would be because uh, Ample showed some... Yeah, Ample proved some, uh, plenty of times of his skills. He was, he was even won to some actual pros, such as uh, KSL, ASL, MPL, he, he won a lot of games already. Even we call the show match uh, in Korean Spoopa, he he won the he he won and lost so many games. That means he practiced with the actual pro gamers. Uh, yeah, he just just like 
scan or lie to anyone else. So they are, I think Ample is uh, really proven, but the apps up, uh, we should we should keep watching about them. Yeah. I want to quickly mention that in the qualifiers one, Group E, Yabsab played against Ample in the semifinals of that, and uh, Yabsab won that 2 0. So, oh, wow. You might be right there that, you know, Yabsab should be favored here. Both of them didn't make it, neither of them, excuse me, made it into the ASL for ASL Season 11. Yeah, I don't see them on the list here. But um, they're both strong players. Yabsab ended up getting eliminated by Sharp in the finals of that group, and Sharp made it in to the yeah. group stages, so, yeah. Do you guys have a favorite in this matchup between Ample and Yapsap? I'm oh, gonna go yeah. ahead and favor Yapsap. <laughs> Is that the Zerg player inside of you just cheering for the Swarm, or...? <laughs> just a little bit, also, from the most recent results, I think that he stands a good chance here. Evening, oh. Hey, Quark. Oh, man. Quark. You finally came here. Yeah, although I might have to disappear at some point. I should be good. Maybe just gone to sleep. But if he wakes up, I'll have to go put him down again. You'd be nice to that baby, Quark. I'm always nice to everyone. I know. I'm just joking. Thank you for joining us. No problem. Thank you for having me. I don't know how much help I can be in a TVZ. I'm mostly here just waiting for the best light game. Well, you'll be joined by Steve and Saiyan. Yeah, I'm just gonna uh, probably stay quite quiet for the first cast and just listen to them tell me what's going on because I uh, Steve, he's a Gosu Terran player. He's gonna know what's up. Gosu for Steve? Did you hear that, Steve? He's like got a 10-1 record against me. Yeah, you can't argue with that. Don't oh, worry, but I does that make him go through though, Cork? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> we all love Steve. Ah, yeah, uh, yeah. One more thing I want to mention about Light vs. Uh, Best was a really, really uh, top match because uh, Cyan uh, mentioned about the three months ago's game. Yeah, it was right. They just uh, really like a top game. They gotta really exact like a score each other. Uh, the one more surprising thing is that uh, before the three months ago, they, they got even a ultimate battle again about five months ago. So that means about between them uh, was only two months ago, two months. And uh, yeah, even this one to light uh, five versus four. So they just. Uh, Best won the first five versus four, and Light won the five versus four after. So this is a very, very uh, tough match. We even we can't predict about anything. They're uh, yeah, really decent player each other, really strong each other. Yeah, we can't we can't uh, predict anything. Yeah, he we even can't sure about uh, who is under the who is uh, less uh, who is behind who is leading. Yeah, we can't sure, sure anything about this. Yeah, anyways, uh, I was, in my mind, I, I was keep shouting about where is Quark, because uh, that's some kind of his meme, when he's just not talking at all. <laughs> Even uh, not only in this, uh, in this, in this uh, casting, but also there's some, some other castings. And he just uh, doesn't appear that I, I just say, I always say, just, oh, Where's Quar? Where's Quar? Where's Quar? Oh, hey, so yeah. Steve, can you send a greeting to any Korean viewers who happen to watch now or oh. later on? Yeah, uh, you mean in Korean, right? Yeah, of course, please. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. I'm going to do it. One, two, three. 안녕하세요, 여러분들. 저는 스티브라고 합니다. 반갑습니다. 이 방송 영어로 해설이 진행될 예정인데 어, 재밌게 봐주시면 될것 같고요. 어, 이재호 선수 대 도재혁 선수 그리고 김태형 선수 대 어, 김주혁 선수의 경기가 기다리고 있습니다. 어, 
김준혁 선수 대 김태형 선수의 경기는 어, 3판 2선으로 진행되고요. 어, 이지호 선수 대 도재욱 선수는 어, 예. 7판 4선으로 진행될 예정이고요. 어, 네, 재밌게 봐주시면 감사할 것 같습니다. 네, 감사합니다. Yeah, I finished that. Thank you. And uh, I know very few words. One is Anyang, which I believe means hello. And Bangap Siapnida. Nice to yeah. meet you. Yeah, uh, yeah. Right. It's a pleasure to have you guys on board. I have a feeling Steve just said in Korean something like, I can't believe these foreigners somehow managed to get Yapsav and Ample and Best and Light to play yeah, live. Even... Even I never uh, thought about uh, we can do a live stream, live casting with global. I mean, this is really, really hard to do it. Even you think about that. You, uh, you, you casters and viewers are probably not only in the new like like us. I mean, uh, we're in only about the afternoon. That that means someone should be in midnight or something, right? So that's uh, that's pretty hard, but uh, it it happens. Okay, this is very good situation. It happens. This is very good, I guess. Yeah, that's that's even I feel nervous about that because uh, this is real. Uh, I think this is special. That means important. Important means yeah, it's important. So uh, yeah. Nervous, yeah, probably. But I, I, I wanna enjoy this, uh, this big moment. Not just, just can't wait. Give. Yeah, man, don't be nervous. Don't be nervous, man. I got oh, Yapsab yeah, yeah. and Ample in the channel as well, <laughs> and they're just discussing the maps. It is up to them. I'm seeing yeah, Polypoid, it... Eclipse, and Fighting Spirit, maybe. Uh, I yeah. like these standard popular maps. They usually lead to pretty good games. And we should yeah. be getting ready for the first show match. I've organized some show matches with semi-pro Koreans. Anyone who's familiar with our regular show match series will know Ample has played for us, Yapsap has played for us, Kala has played for us, Scan has played for us, Art User, uh, Jalen. But I've never got to observe one live, so this is going to be a treat. I don't know who's going to take it. They're both very high MMR players, right? 2,500 plus? Yeah, they're decent yeah. players. <laughs> really, really strong players. Are we watching this uh, through the Discord or are we uh, joining the game? I, uh, I think, think it's going to lag if you guys join the game. Am I wrong? Uh, no more than you're lagging it, I think. I think having two Americans is uh, no worse than having one. If somebody wants to hop in, I'm in channel Alpha X on Korea server. Oh, that means, uh, we I'm definitely observing, guys, because I'm excited yeah. about this and I've earned the right to... <laughs> I had somebody message me, big shout out to Pistol Pete, aka Mozzarella Sticks, which I call him, and he's like really passionate about the best in light match, and he's like, Ox, I really think you should get another observer, because that person won't lag if he's in Korea. And I was like, come on, man. I was so looking forward to observing Best in Light and these guys live, right? So don't take that little pleasure from me. But I get where he's coming from because you want the matches to go smoothly and uh, players, especially in Korea, don't like playing under uh, lag conditions, which really affects uh, their ability to play well. I don't know if that affects TVZ more. I've heard like it's hard for Zerg users to micro with their mutas. Um, I'm not sure what the story from Terrans is, if it's harder for them to micro certain units. And it might even affect the strategies and builds that they use. So Zergs, for example, if they can't do like mutas in a very laggy game, they might, you know, go to Hydralis or something like that. But 
I'm not yeah, sure. I think it depends. It depends what you're used to because uh, in BSL we saw, I think it was Hawk do some very very nice uh, muta micro in turn rate eight against Medino, but uh, I, I'm assuming he practiced it. If you're yeah, used to these, these players really well. are going to be really used to low latency play. Like they're only playing in Korea every single day, and most of the players who are above 2500 are going to be just right in Korea, good at connection. So it would be a big change for them, I think, if we had like turn rate A game. Yeah. All right, guys, we're getting ready yep. for the first show match. Yep, sir. First ample. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, Yapsa will uh, make a rule because uh, it's the amp boy asked about that <laughs> right now in Korea. Let me know if the Discord screen share gets blurry or fuzzy at all. I will restart it. Hopefully, it works perfectly. And they are using the name of our StarCraft 2 contact, Alpha X. Big shout out to Sushi. Grant, my friend, we oh, all appreciate you helping us set this game up. They said it's a turn note 24. I think that's optimistic. First map is on Polypoid. Polypoid. And Steve, you're going to introduce them in Korean, please. I'm really looking forward to this. Oh, uh, you, uh, you mean after the beginning? All right. Yes, but just wait a few seconds so I can get ready. Yeah, 경기 시작됐습니다. 어, 지금 보시는 진영은 5시 어, 김준혁 선수 진영입니다. 5시 김준혁 선수. 어, 그리고 11시에 어, 김태영 선수가 네, 테란으로 시작하고 있습니다. 김태영 선수. 네, 사진 테란 김태영 선수가 11시에 있습니다. Yeah, I did the, uh, the boat of it, introducing. I'm not sure if Ample knows that this is all live. <laughs> yeah, we yeah, can't have all the observers live. out. But yeah, turn rate uh, 24 was optimistic. Oh, they just uh, re... Yeah. Yeah, they just tried to regain. Oh, and I have to do it again. <laughs> Quark <laughs> called it. Quark called it? I said that turn rate 24 was going to be a bit optimistic, just because... Uh, it's a. Uh, it's yeah, not a great game. Yeah. What about just. Uh, you can watch it on Discord too. Well, we need somebody in the game to show Discord. What's the TR? Uh, uh, what should I, it go I, down I, to? I'm, I'm sorry. Aux, I'm watching the Ox uh, live Discord right now. That's how, that's how can I just. Um... You know what? This is just all perfect because, yeah, Battle.net, Korea. Rest of the world lag. It just makes sense for this to happen. Talk about I. Uh, uh, hey, Sab. So, uh, turn rate. Uh, can we make a room with turn rates automatically? How can I make it? Uh, what? What is that? Did, Are you reading their messages selected. in Korean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we have Dynamic. a translator here, folks. Dynamic, you just make it. Yeah, yeah this yeah. they even I don't know, know about the uh, can turn can automatically turn rate to turn on. I mean, how can I do that? I you have don't... never, <laughs> yeah, I never heard about that, but uh, just they just you... say that. Hold on, uh, I'll put it in Discord. You set the turn rate to the lowest possible, and the lowest possible is uh. Yeah, it will be. Is dynamic what the TR we want? I don't think they really know. Yeah, dynamic is what you want. Okay. Dynamic is. Uh... Thank you, Quirk. Let's try this again, folks. 
Yaps have verse ample. Versus I'll follow you. Uh, should I do it again or just? <laughs> yeah, finish? let's do it, Steve. I, I should do it. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, yeah, 경기 시작됐습니다. 어, 5시에 어, 김준혁 선수가 자리를 잡았습니다. 김준혁 선수, 예, 김준혁 선수는 5시에 자리를 잡았고요. 이에 예, 맞서는 어, 사진들 김태형 선수는 7시에 있습니다. 7시에 취하고 있습니다. 김태형 선수는 7시. Yeah, I did that. Oh, I finished that. Okay, thank All you. Right. I had no idea the names that you mentioned, so there's no way for me to... Yeah, because I didn't uh, read... We Koreans basically don't read the IDs, so we... You say their real names. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We and I don't think I've real. ever actually heard their real names. So how uh, do you say Ample out loud? Oh, yeah. Ample... Ample's real name is Kim Tae-yo. And... Yeah, Absa's real name is Kim Jun-hyo. I, I see that on the subtitle. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Uh, yeah, uh, 7 vs 5. Okay, uh, possible to do some uh, early push bio, such as uh, 21, 21 or 23 Academy. I mean, that's possible because um, because of the OV Scout. You see that uh, Yapsa basically goes on uh, topper. Because it's, it's a basic start, observe, you know. This is basic, basic start. Uh, they just when they just uh, got five, then then they just go up in one to uh, stabilize the OB's position. Yeah, he's doing a twelve S. Okay, this is very standard. And yeah, ample goes uh, topper. Eleven scout. Uh, yeah, which means uh, he has to make uh, two supplies and double, which means uh, Rex is banned, but uh, supplies will be between 17 or 19. If he can, uh, he can make sure that uh, Yapsap didn't do the pool first. Yeah, Yapsap's opening is very standard. It's just 11-10-9 uh, on the uh, hatch pool and gas. Also, Ox, yeah. I'm pretty sure that uh, you know some uh, Koreans' uh, actual names. I, I reckon you could do Jadong. I think J you could work. Yeah. I do yeah, know that only one. Only Jadong is a real name. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that Jadong is a yeah, it's, uh, special case that he just uh, named it, uh, nicknamed his own real name. Yeah. yeah it works, though. It's, it's a good name. Yeah, yeah. It's a really good name. Because uh, that's not even common. In, in Korea, Jaedong. Oh yeah, anyways, uh, Apple did the very standard 18cc and so far, uh, yeah, so far Yapsa did the typical uh, 2S, just I always call it. And yeah, Apple made the 19 racks. I'm just looking forward to, uh, he, he does the Bass Academy uh, two medics two five push. Just I think, uh, mentioned about that. Did you think that would be stronger because of the turn rate? Because uh, it would be harder for Yaps to have to micro against it in turn rate fourteen. Uh, yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe yes. Uh, we should see about the uh, Terence uh, gas timing and academy timing. Uh, to make sure that he would push forward. Oh, I think this is a uh, 22 Academy. If that's not the engineering bay, can't be the engineering bay. It's not big enough. At least he didn't. Uh, yeah, he made sure that make sure. Yeah, that was enough to make sure that he didn't do the reckless first. Okay. Uh, but the point is, um, how can he deal with the uh, best push by Ample by Yapsa? At least, uh, yes, I didn't do the lurkers, you see. Oh. So we're just gonna see two medics, then two firebats and stim, maybe? Yeah, yeah, in five minutes. Okay, uh, yeah, so tries to, yeah, reduce the marine scout. Okay, that's reasonable, because, uh, no matter uh, Apple doing the BO, then he just uh, try to he just tries to reduce the Marines count uh, before the medics. That's reasonable. Yeah. If 
if Apple tried to do the tries to do the best best eBay what, plus one, then he would be in trouble maybe. But but what if we just go out like this? Even his Marines reduced are reduced. So uh, yeah, this this push will be a little bit uh, lighter than uh, than usual. A Marines is how many Marines is that? Uh, is is it six or seven? Yeah, seven. Seven will be yeah two needs two sunken, I guess. Can he focus oh, down the medic? Because there's only the one med. Oh, oh. that wasn't done. Ah. A little bit trouble. Okay, let's see about the micro fight. But I think Ample is leading. If he can reduce the drones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is. Uh... Oh yeah, this is big deal. This big deal, big deal. Oh. And there were no mutilists because uh, he forced all the lava to get used right before the spire finish. So that really hurt you have to have mutilist timing. Oh my god, yeah, this is uh, yeah, this is really like uh, some kind of all in situation. Uh, because uh, he has a dilemma about uh, how to uh, reduce, I don't know, no, recover, the, recover the drones in the natural. Because he's not mining in the natural minerals, I mean, uh, he's only mining gases like uh, CBZ like really like uh, really sounds like kind of all in of mineralist yeah he doesn't have the lava so even if he wanted to make drones he can't make drones unless he skips muter he has to pick oh yeah and look at the ample's defense really stable oh yeah yeah Yasa is uh, trying, trying to uh, reduce uh, and recover the drones you see He's just um, remining minerals uh, without gas in the natural. Okay. Oh, Apple he's still just doing mutilisks. He's uh, he just he had too much gas, not enough minerals oh. to make mutilisks. Uh, but I think he's still uh, all in. Yeah, that means yeah, he's doing some kind of uh, gas save for the make some more minerals. <laughs> okay. And Apple is making four racks. Even the factory, uh, though we can see see that uh, there, there's a yeah there's a factory you see uh, below the below the natural CC below the natural CC. Okay, yeah. So it's uh, des desperately uh, tries to make a hole uh, to breach in the front. Yeah, 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 he's uh, run by, run by, run by is uh, also reasonable in this situation. He has to do something. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, look at the micro. How's he going to get out, though? Oh, There's turrets yeah. below, right, turrets below him, means yeah. above him. That's the second objective, not the primary objective. So he has <laughs> to do something about this. Oh, yeah, I think Apple uh, can defend this. Oh, those yes, medics are traitors. Right. Those medics uh, weren't near the Marines at all. Some of them went <laughs> yeah. up in the SUVs. Some of them yeah, were yeah. on the turrets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sometimes it happens, but uh, yeah, he's just going out. Okay. Uh, yeah, so he's doing his best, but uh, look at there's, the game. There's more mutants behind this. He's he's made enough drones just to keep constant production, but that's it. He's uh, yeah. he's not making any more hatcheries. He's not getting a Hydra then. This is mutilus till he dies. Yeah, but we should keep see about the Zerg's tech right now. He has no gas. Uh, he has no hydro stand. Only mutus and uh, in the natural, he has only four drones mining. Here comes the, the dive. He's gonna jump right inside the yeah. main base here. It's this is kind of a last dish man. effort, trying to get some damage done if he can. Well, it's, it's a really oh. good angle there because the Marines, if you look at them, they're coming in single file behind the... Uh, Not bad, line, killing off a lot there. of those Marines, yeah. And he yeah. is oh. just trying to get as much done as he can before the next level oh. of tech comes up from the Terran. That's a lot being done here. He's killed off so many SCVs. He killed so many Marines. There's like no Marines left here. Yeah, he's got that plus one going on as well. Oh, which look, means the mutilus, uh, look at the supplies. Like, I think yeah. Yapsa is doing really good right now. Really good. Because, yeah, uh, look, yeah, ample supplies. Really like a uh, ball in there, I mean. The Valkyrie's about to start. 
I think there is a huge mistake here, just not building additional turrets from Ample. You know, not really recognizing how all-in Yabsab was. Just gotta keep adding on turrets there to make sure you don't die to something like this. Look at all the extra mutas outside here. He's gonna lose the star ports. Oh, things are going yeah. really bad for Ample. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was a decent start, but uh, Yabsab really did something. Uh, when, when everyone argues that uh, he has to do something, yeah, he did something about that. He, do, he, do, he did uh, big damages. He got, he, he made the big damages to Apple, and Apple wanted wanted to do some uh, best backers. That's why he just reduced the tourist counts uh, to save the save the minerals. But, oh, this yeah. is not good. Those oh, two marines just won't die. Oh my god! And the yeah, battle think... is going to be done soon. 48 supply to 26. Yeah. Did Ample limping, limping did through this. Did Ample uh, just uh, make uh, even a single Valkyries? But I don't think it's enough. It's, well, not, it's not enough. Yeah, so I'm still not choosing to yeah, you know, fall back into an economy game here. He's just yes. trying to end it right now. Yeah, it's really too late for this economy. It's that he wins or loses on this. Oh, look at the Valkyries. Oh, bad Valley oh, point. Oh, that Valkyrie without a volley going off there. Yeah. That's yeah. sad. Really oh, no, no. Oh, no, no. oh, oh he's going to lose it. No, no, no. Yeah, but oh. those Mutalists those, those are done. They take... Look at that. There's so much damage. That was the only hope. Yeah, I, I think, think the Mutalists can't go anywhere near the towers. Like, they're, they're all Apple low red. I think Apple's fine. Those Mutalists are all bleeding. Oh, but uh, I, I think uh, Apple's economy is almost like dead. He can't, he can make more batteries because of this. Um, you, you see the minerals count. He has less than uh, one hundred and fifty. Oh my God, both are really, really bleeding right now. Yeah, he's yeah mutant, like, look at the mutants, they're just dying immediately. <laughs> <laughs> he's going oh, dying on the turret right here. Oh, oh yeah. no. Yeah, I'm yeah, losing Apple's... so many mutas. Apple's gas count is yeah really like um. Uh... Oh, did he did he try to make uh, another battery right now? It is making. Oh really? Oh, I thought he has no uh he has no not enough minerals for that. So uh, yeah, he somehow did that. Oh. I think he should have lifted oh. up up and moved it down. Oh yeah, so it's <laughs> really aggressive that I thought. GG. GG. Wow. Mm, oh, look yeah. At Apple. Epic comeback. Even before that, <laughs> he tried to attack. Wow. He's that was a good one. Very good at defense. A reversal on a reversal there. I mean, Ample had such a good spot. He almost died, but managed to come back. Great play by him. Wow. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Wow. That's... He just found such a good angle in the main with the mineral line there. The mains were just coming in through the mineral line, through the gas, getting stuck. The medics got distracted by the SCVs. Because uh, the uh, the Mutalisk uh, attack bounces mean that all the SCVs have like one or two damage on them. And the medics will just see a damaged SCV and that, that's all they want to do. It's... Yeah, sa yeah, personally, sadly for me that uh, to say that, uh, that both players did the best. Real good. But uh, someone has to lose the game because there's no equal or maybe draw game in StarCraft. That's that's the only only fault, I guess. They they both did the best, you see. Game number two here. We're gonna do another Korean intro. Okay. Let's do uh, an English one. 네, 이클립스에서 경기자가 했습니다. 예, 먼저 보시는 진영은 11시 김태영 선수 진영입니다. 11시 네, 노란색이고요. 어, 이에 맞서는 어, 김준혁 선수는 7시 흰색 적으로 제하도록 하겠습니다. 네, 흰색, 흰색 적이 나왔네요. All right, when you inserted a pause in there, I just interpreted that as that was Ample's and I went to the other one. Yeah, uh, I, we basically uh, introduced uh, as his real name and the starting location as a clock. Uh, so we say that this this map as one o'clock and seven o'clock, which means uh, 1시 and 7시. We we just say that basically. 
So I just uh, tried to do it as a sink. Shout out to Latius, the Korean map maker who made Eclipse. Yeah, Eclipse. Uh, yeah, I thought the yeah Apple has a possibility to do the A Rex, but they didn't. He's I've, trying to yeah. I've been seeing a lot of uh, like plus one builds on uh, Eclipse. A lot of oh, yeah, yeah, four vax plus one or five vax plus one. Yeah, yeah, reasonable. And he's yeah, this is a very common start. Uh, these days, for blocking the natural like that. And do the plus one. Yeah, I've seen that natural block a lot recently from the Korean players. Like, you can get the Marine on the inside here. It just makes yeah. things so much easier. Yeah. Even the ASL players are doing that. Yeah, this, this is very common. And yeah, this is a very, very latest meta. Yeah, it does leave you a back. little bit open to some sort of like a... Big yeah, yeah, lurker yeah, attack at the front, or you know, you can take a lot of damage on those supply depots if the mutilists attack there. You know, you have to add more turrets to defend that area, not just your main natural and barracks, but also that forward line of supply depots. But you know, it seems to be worth it. You can get a lot for your marines in the early game. You can be a lot safer to those early lings, and yeah, you can get into your macro a lot quicker. What do you think about that build with the early, early plus one where you just grab the refinery and instantly throw down the engineering bay right after that? What do you guys think about that one? Well, uh, Apple did the 15 CC and he's making a second supply depot. I think uh, since he, he just uh, he just blocked the natural so he can, yeah, as you said that, uh, he just can't throw the refinery and eBay. She's really stable. Not not to be so concerned about the link push, and even he's uh, he's keep watching his scouting uh, with his scouting SCB. Yeah, he has to see that uh, until the layer is completed, or even uh, five, uh, three three minutes and forty five seconds, maybe. Yeah. Yes, uh, just keep watching that. Yeah, so there is that engineering bay coming down. Yeah, we will see the early plus one. Yeah, this is I, very common. I really like the uh, this style for rush. I feel like rush is yeah uh, style really goes well with this. Seeing a lot of good games out of him with this style. We'll yeah, see how it right. is put to use by Ample here. Yeah right. Uh, Rush Rush was really famous about doing a plus one even before the before before this year. Mm -hmm. he, he was always doing the plus one. Uh, two versus two hats. Oh yeah, yeah he uh, Apple was doing that same. It's kind of rare for Terran players to have like that real like early game burst of power. But with the plus one, you can come out on the map and just have so much strength that you can bust through a lot of different things that Zerg is trying to do. And that really goes to the style of Rush and similar players who are really aggressive on the, in Terran. So uh, I like this play out of Ample. See how it ends up going. Can he keep a good ball of Marines here and hit that plus one timing and deal some damage? I'm gonna find out here. Yep, Sab taking bottom right hand corner. I'm gonna take yeah. that base rather than the base on the left hand side. What do you think about that? Well, uh, this is um, yeah, th that's reasonable because um, neither getting a nine o'clock gas gas six bow is really really like uh, typical. So yeah, ample. When he he would definitely scan to there, or maybe even not scan. He just blindly go there. It's possible, but uh, what about six? It's not even common. It's not. Uh, it's not normal. So yeah, he has to check out at first to go, go rush over there. You see? Yeah, he has to check that out the scout there. Uh, yeah, to make sure. Oh yeah, okay. He scanned there. He scanned that. Exactly the timing of uh, five five minutes and forty five seconds. Yeah, typical six six minutes. 
Because he definitely can hold this. Because he, he's even doing a plus one. Really, really stable. Really, really strong. Two versus Muras. Only Muras, especially. This is the moment where Ample has that power. Is the plus one quite finished yet? Not yet. Uh, Not just, yet. Um, yeah, about um, seven minutes. Go oh, for the range up and plus one. He's just waiting and... for that timing here. To be able to move out. Good clump yeah. of Marines here, keeping them safe. Not losing and anything it... to the Mutas so far. Yeah, uh, yeah Ample should not play aggressive for now, just now, uh, after uh, just waiting for the plus one and both the range up. He can, put, yeah, yeah, the plus one is complete and about the range Ooh, up. And dive past out. here into the base. Yabsab, this is a really tough location. We were talking about it last oh. game, but with the commsat on the right hand side of the command center, yeah, these Marines are game. really gonna bunch up there. Yabsab flies on out. Not getting you, any critical yeah. damage, but quite a few pickoffs there on the SCVs. Yeah, Yabsab is really good at uh, harassing Terran. Uh, since in, even the, before, before this game, the last game was really, really good, and this game is, I guess, yeah, he's good, good too. And he just, yeah, Ambo is now going out. Really like going out and punished for that. But where? Where should we where should we go? That's his decision. I guess he's going to the uh, go going to the natural. Uh, yes, it's natural right now. Looks like that. Yeah, and there's no sunken colonies up just yet. There is a lurkers. queen's nest here in the front. <laughs> a few lurkers as well. Uh, but this oh. marine force has not been reduced at all. Still a giant marine ball. Plus one is finished. Range is done. Everything's ready to go. Can he actually break through this natural? Two lurkers are here and burrowed. Find a little wall that's going to be hard to break. Ample, does he try it? Yeah, I'm just uh, wondering that he's trying to uh, snipe those two lurkers or not. Yeah, yeah, I'm just keep, keep thinking about that, but he didn't because uh, that's risky. Yeah, I know that's risky. Very risky, yes. And instead, he's going to go for the safer play. And like you said, he's actually just going to go check for a base up towards the left-hand side. He hasn't spotted this one yet. Yeah, now it looks yeah, like yeah. he's rotating down to the bottom center. Three lurkers are in position. Never going to break that with Marines. Oh, Ample, without scan, he somehow know that uh, the lurker is burrowed over there. He just predicted that there, there's a possibility to uh, make the dirt over there. Wow, and he knows that. Oh. He didn't reduce, uh, he didn't waste his marines for that. Wow. And yeah, Yapsub is still doing a very, very big damage to harassment. Big damage of harass. Oh, Ample is uh, really confused about that, I guess. Like he's taking stone. quite a bit of damage in the natural. He's trying to add on those starports, but being slowed down here, he's gonna have to continuously reproduce these turrets and try to hold off these uh, mutilists that are being really really tough oh he's actually stimming up is he gonna go for it here big stim he's, everything's getting yield is he gonna go is ample really gonna do this there we go i think he's going for it lurkers. he's going that's for it whoa a lot of marines dying here so much blood uh, everything getting torn apart here for ample the lurkers finally died but only three marines remain i think this is gonna be gg almost can't lose that many marines at this point uh, in the game trying to break something that you know, you don't just barely not breaking it. It's worse than even tr not trying at all. That is rough. Yeah, basically it's really rough, but uh, at least Ample didn't GG for now. Maybe he has to think about that. Yeah, maybe uh, he's doing something. Oh, probably not. Or I'm not sure, but um, he's even a making drop. a dropship. Oh, he can't get out it? here. Muta spot it. Oh, God. This dropship uh, gonna go down, 100%. Yeah, completely. completely. Oh no, completely destroyed. GG. GG. Yeah, that was that it's... was his only hope. <laughs> so the break at the natural does not go well for Ample. Yeah. Yikes. Right. What? And even a... the... Yeah, true lurkers were 
risky. And what about the poor workers stack like that? Super risky. Super, yeah. super risky, yeah. Agreed. Uh, but I think the, that's not bad for Ample. It's just that uh, Yapsa was really good at aggressive place. Even harassment. He's in shape, I guess. He's in a big shape. He's looking very I, good with the Mutalist control. Yeah, like uh, he, looking good he just there. Uh, body shaped. He just makes uh, muscle and he just uh, throw the punch all over the place. And just ample, even he's guarding right now, he feels pain about that. That's, that's just like that. I'm sorry, folks, I had the scoreboard that's wrong. Probably oh, everyone yeah. was yelling at me. It's one versus one right now. Yap Sap is up. Oh, it's one one. Okay, yeah, I yeah, it's it. one one. Mm -hmm. All right. So, yeah, introducing Korean rap. All right, all right. Um, 네, 세, 세 번째 경기 투원에서 경기를 시작하겠습니다. 먼저 보신 진영은 어, 한시의 김준혁 선수입니다. 한시의 김준혁 선수고요. 어, 그리고 11시에 어, 김태형 선수가 자리하고 있습니다. Yeah, I did. Um, yeah, this is long time, long time to see the Biden spirits again because uh, we can't see see this map anymore in ladder. Unfortunately, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, uh, Biden spirit. Uh, such an old map. <laughs> really, nothing to say actually. <laughs> <laughs> I think everybody who's played this game for any number of years has played at least a few on this map. It's been around forever. Still see oh it on God. the Korean and American servers if you open up Brood War oh. today. Eight some racks. people will be bringing it up. <laughs> Eight racks. <laughs> 1v1 on FS. That's a very common game name if you search. But uh, I'm just curious about that. Uh, it's 11, not 7 or 5. You're just doing 8 racks in this. Wow. All right. 12 hatch yeah. from Yabsab, so unless he's yeah, going to yeah, take, yeah, yeah. yeah going to go for a 12 hatch, if, no 12 pool. If Yabsab does a 12 hatch, that's reasonable, but what if he didn't do that, that, yeah, that would be in trouble. So I'm just asking about that. Well, anyways, uh... Drone coming in the right direction is going to spot this barracks pretty oh, early. Yeah, pretty early. It's going to be completed already, but still, he will have good knowledge about that. He's going to have to pull a lot of drones here, though. How many drones think need to be pulled in this situation? Five to seven? Something like that? Uh, I, I bet four. Just four drones, eh? Okay. Yeah, because uh, if if Apple is doing a one-on-one -on -one after the eight racks, four is enough. Because uh, if, you, if you just bring gather the more than five, that will be the uh, economical uh, economy loss. Yeah, uh, because uh, he he will make a uh, ball just right after that. Yeah, at least in this situation, it's not. Don't worry about the vulture. So he can get us more than four. Uh, yeah, let's see about the micro fight. Uh, yeah, typical situation that uh, four, I don't know, three marines and NNCV. Versus Ooh, one SCV gets drones. picked off. Here's the drones coming out now. Six really drones are out here in the front. Eight. Seven, eight. Eight drones. Oh my god, that's a lot of drones out here. The barracks, or the bunker, excuse me, being set down very far back. Here he comes with the drones, gonna chase down some of these Marines, try to get some hits oh. on. Backing oh. off now, loses one drone. The bunker is near completion, but he's gonna have to slowly creep bunkers forward here. Next bunker going to be in this corner. Yeah, links are out a, though. Eight links, eight links. Pretty oh. big trouble oh. here for Ample. He's gonna jump inside the bunker, but should just target this SCV. Yes, he does. And the rush here is close to over. Nice pull of an SCV. Pretty quick here by Ample. He's already got another SCV, but a Sunken comes down. You're not gonna break that. I'm just curious about that. Uh, what after the bold each other? I mean the. What after this for both each other? Oh, Apple is making two 
second Rex right now, and and yeah, so he's uh, gathering gas right now. That means he's doing a two hats. Is is it speed of links first? That's a really important situation. That he if he does the link speed first. Didn't see if that first hundred gas has come out yet. Yeah. Did he, yeah, did he yeah. get a hundred gas yet? Oh, layer first. Layer okay, first. layers there. Okay, at least uh, it is not countered by the BO because uh, Evo is doing uh, only. Oh, yeah, he's sending the OBM. Ooh. How did he know that? Uh, two two racks without without uh, natural two racks academy. Really, really fast push. He needs at least uh, three seconds for that. Three seconds. Or two seconds with the uh, speed of links more than 12. I think. Alright, let's see what he has here. He hasn't actually spotted that there's no command center yet, has he? He almost yeah, ran yeah. past that first few marines, but the uh, marines at the natural ended up cleaning that up. You think he knows just based on the number of marines we have here? I mean, he does have quite a few. Oh, Not yeah, he's... Oh, how many Marines? That's so 12? many. He's hiding a few of them in the back there, and he's hiding the medic as well. Yeah, it's reasonable. Because uh, he just, uh, Ample doesn't want to uh, Yapsa. Doesn't want Yapsa to make some more bad sunkers. Oh, uh, now he's making it right now. He will make that. He sees three. the push coming. He needs those sunkers right away. There's a fire bat getting right on top of time. most of these lings. Oh, yeah. Another fireback gonna come out here, deal a bunch of damage to the rest of the lings, and they are pushed back. No counterattack for Yabzab, and he is in a very tough situation. Throwing down extra buildings here in the front, trying to buy time. Two Sunkins yeah. are coming up here. That's a pretty good block, but will yeah. it be enough here to buy that time? Wow, three Blocked. buildings going down there in the front. Can't really get on top of this stuff here as Ample really? is going for it. Triple Sunkin is here. I think oh, he can I hold this. No, 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 I, I think he can, he can breach that. Trying Even to kill off the drones as many as possible. He's running by. Run by. Oh. <laughs> How oh, many? The, oh, oh, the drones surround, the drones surround. Nice uh, drones surround uh, there. Grabs that one Marine. Well, Finishes up the last one. There you go. Yab Zab holds on. In a very well, tough situation. What is Apple going to do after this? I, uh... Six meters. Uh, it was wasn't that six meters. Oh, I thought. Yeah, I thought you would make a six meters, but he, he didn't. He didn't. He didn't really have a choice there. So such a crazy bust coming from Ample. He's gonna build Muta soon, but you know, Ample. Yeah, he's gonna add on this command center, but he has to add on so many turrets right now. Just doesn't have the production. Yeah, it's gonna be a can, very tough yeah. hold. Even he can uh, see what Yapsov is doing with early scan, and even well, uh, even yeah, Yapsov is pretty frequently like uh, pretty like suffered for, for, for the whole game. He he, he was suffered by the Arex first. After that, he was he was suffered by the fast Turex push first. Uh, tr yeah, second, and now he's. He's suffering again. No, no vision, no scouting, nothing, nothing at all. No, no information at all. What Apple is doing, and he just blindly do the doing the lurkers, maybe. Ah, uh, yes, there is that Hydro's den. He does have the spire as well, adding on another hatchery here in the main base, up that production a little bit, but. He needs a third base now that uh, Ample's taken his own natural. And he needs to get some damage over here. I mean, there's already a lot of turrets that have been built for Ample, and he's got a pretty decent number of SCVs. Man, I really yeah. thought that after that hold from Yabsab, he was going to be in a good position. I guess he lost too many drones during that hold. You know, he canceled those buildings, um, and a lot of those drones were actually focused down. Could have been worse, but... Still, lost a lot. Yeah, even, even look at the supplies. It's even a third. I don't know. It's even you know even a twice. 
you need to swim twice and and Apple is doing a uh, one 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 bang one suffer, which means uh three tanks and a boat vessel I guess. Yeah, yeah Queen's Nest nice. doesn't matter. <laughs> doesn't matter. <laughs> doesn't not really matter. Out of range what there. About, what about no mirrors? He will be choked like this with the only Marines and medics. He he's choked right now. He can't go outside. Not able to get a drone out on the map. Wouldn't be able to hold a base, I think, at this point anyway. Even if he was able to get one up. No yeah, lurkers he, out just yet. Even he has no spare minerals to uh, to do the ninja expo or something. Even if Ampo is uh, checking out the ninja expo, if it is possible. Yeah, that's a reasonable choice to do a ninja expo in this situation. But, but no. Because he has no uh, spare minerals, several minerals for that. He just a lot of yeah, lurkers just... being built here. Oh yeah, that's pretty sad because he's <laughs> choked at the start again. He suffered again. I mean, he's suffering. He's gonna yeah, try was... and do something with these lurkers. You think he's just gonna try and break the natural, or will he try to take a third base with this? I think he's just gonna go for it, man. He is in a terrible situation. Here comes the tank. The Apple is doing, yeah, a boxer play like that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah just he's... running out the Marines, wrecking through all of these lurkers. I think this is oh. gonna be GG here. Oh, GG, yeah. Tank sets up. It's gonna start breaking through this oh. wall of sunkens. The lurkers are not safe either. Yeah, he's choked again. Even, it's... yeah, even three times. Oh dear. Domination oh, here from Ample. Just putting the pressure on this Zerg opponent the entire game, not letting up. Yeah, even the t additional tank game, even the vessel will come right now. Where is that? Oh, six tracks. Oh my god, this is. Okay, Yapsa is at least trying his best right now. He's trying to. Yeah, he's really trying to breach the front. Yeah, that's 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 not reasonable. He has to do it. That's you gotta pull the trigger now. He's losing drones in the natural. A few oh, links yeah, and a few just... lurkers. Yeah, you're the Zerg player. This is torture. I know that feeling. Yes, this it's is like terrible. Tor torture. Yeah, this is torture and even dropship. Oh drop my god. <laughs> dropship and a science vessel coming across. That's going to what? irradiate. <laughs> Whatever comes out from Yabsav, he's just gonna the focus are... down to the lurkers. Uh, oh, the links might be able to take out these. He's actually got crackling upgrade here. He oh, knows yeah. he's gonna be pretty. Oh, the dropship! He's going for the dropship! Can he pick it off? Oh, oh, oh my god! Oh, god. Oh. GG. Oh. GG. That was so funny. He was going right after the vessel, oh. and then came the dropship. He was like, "Okay, we're gonna actually target this baby." And oh, he failed even. Oh, that's oh. sad. That's oh, sad. Scourge are so dumb. Scourge are so dumb. Yeah, so dumb. So hard to make them land on that dropship when it's microed correctly, just dodging back and forth. It's just uh, salt in the wounds there for Ample, <laughs> or for uh, Yapsav, Excuse me. Just you know grinding it into his already beaten corpse that was rough yeah what oh uh, yeah what what yapsa did wrong i mean he did, he did <laughs> nothing wrong for that yeah this is this is cruel i mean i'm always <laughs> telling you that this game is no draw game you know no draw game someone has to suffer for that yes for absolutely one of the worst uh, feelings in the entire world, losing a game of StarCraft Brood War when you're trying your hardest. It is so painful. So yeah. painful. And there's no one to blame but yourself. Honestly, it's one of the worst feelings in the world. It's not like some of these other games where you can blame your team or lag or something like that. When you know you can see the turn rate, it's on the screen. And you end up getting beaten in the one versus one. Ugh. Oh, oh it yeah. hurts. Start questioning your existence. <laughs> but at least uh, Ample did his best, and he was really decent for that build. You know, uh, if the Terran is not Ample, but Stevie was, it was not that happened like that. 
I mean, he was his micro was decent. We should have accept that. His yes. micro and macro, both decent. Really? Yes, he had a good idea in that game. Ample, such a strong Terran player though. And yeah. getting that that close position as well is very lucky on Fighting Spirit. If that was cross map, the yeah. hold would have been much easier there for uh, yeah. for him. Yab Sab, unlucky. Yeah. That was why he did that. Yeah, that was why he did the address start. Yeah, I was curious about that at the first. But at he he had no idea. He had no idea that he was right next to his opponent. Right, so. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> yeah. So a bit of luck coming in there. Yeah, All right. uh, maybe uh, we should to try to do that uh, ambush spill for today in the ladder or something. Hmm. Yes. Because it looks cool. For sure. Looks fun. <laughs> looks fun. Yeah, we should practice about that. So are we going to see another game, Ample versus Yabsa, before we start the main event? Or are we going to just wait for those two players it to join? It was a best of three, and Ample yeah, yeah, yeah. took it. Okay, all right. Best of Ample three. Congratulations. GG wow. Ample. Good job. Yeah, good job. Thank you for joining. Yeah, well, yeah this is even a live cast. It's really, really... Yeah, really like uh, thrilling for me. It is really like thrilling right now. Making some history here, Ample and Yabsab, thank you. Yeah, Yabsab and Ample, thank you. Yeah, thank you. I don't know what you're doing. Yeah, I don't know All right, coming up next, Best versus Light. Cannot wait for this main event. Guys, tell your friends out there if you are in some Discord channels, some Discord groups. Link the stream if you don't mind. It helps us out. And uh, just just get the hype train going, guys. Send some more viewers our way. It's going to be a great series here. Seven games. Light versus best. Oh, it wasn't... Wasn't it Geo 7? It's just uh, ultimate battle like that. Just play five, uh, seven games, no matter who got the four first. first. Ox, I, I, can you, I, can you tell us? <laughs> Are you asking what yeah, the yeah. series is? We were told uh, seven games. Seven games. Not BO7, right? All right. No, it should okay, be so... seven whole games. From what I heard. Yeah, yeah, seven whole games. But I think, uh, th yeah, as I told that, I, I just guessing. I'm just guessing that uh, it will be four versus three. Even, yeah, who's won that game, actually? I mean, it doesn't matter, but even if uh, it will be played for, four, for uh, the whole seven games, even I think, uh, I guess, I'm just guessing that he, uh, the, the score will be four versus three. Yeah, anyways, uh, look at the chat. Yeah, this, uh, this is going blazing right now. Uh, someone is saying, do you believe in Steve or something? What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of uh, a lot of conversation with each other. Wow. A lot of uh, Spanish fans looks like in the chat too. Shout out to you guys. Oh yeah. Thank you for joining. Unfortunately, I uh, yeah I had to learn Spanish some. Shout out Pato in the chat. What's up, man? Yeah. <laughs> Big shout out to Pato. A Spanish-speaking representative. I will teach you, Steve Jump. What? Brand? Ah, uh, Spanish. Oh shit! Some some saying I see fans here too. KZ in the chat. What's up, man? Thanks for the donation. Uh, what is this that they're they're sending? It's um, uh, like coins or something like that. That people can donate to the stream. What is that? Do you know Ox? Um, I Five guess it's Trovo's reward system. Currency. Hmm, okay. Uh, say salute or I will get mad. 
Salud? Yeah, I know salud. Annyeonghaseyo, salud. Hello. <laughs> konnichiwa. Hi, konnichiwa. Konnichiwa, 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 konnichiwa. minasan. Minasan. Yes, I've been learning Japanese for about two years. Pretty, oh. pretty low, pretty low in the Japanese at, uh, Category. I actually learned Chinese before this, so I speak more Chinese. Oh, oh that's pretty really? cool. Yeah, that's yeah, hardworking even. <laughs> Any so, Chinese fans in the chat? If we get Ni some hao. Chinese programmers, <laughs> I'll get you for those greetings as well. I'm always looking for casters who can speak multiple languages. Yeah, that means you can you? We got Pato for language? the Spanish ones, we got Steve for the Korean ones. Uh, we got Sane for the Japanese Chinese ones. Yeah, sorry, but I say that I, I don't know the uh, Spanish. Uh, only I know Spanish is that, uh, what is that? Uh, vamos. Ba vamos. <laughs> Gracias. Amigo. Uh, and some other bad words. <laughs> I'm not going to say that, okay? I know that. Yeah, but I, I'm not going to say that. <laughs> Gracias, amigo. I am not, 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 not going to say that more. Because all the bad words. No, 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 no. It's, it's, it's a broadcast. It's not my stream, man. If it is my stream, then I'm going to say that the whole words. But, but not <laughs> in this stream, okay? Not in this broadcast. <laughs> Sorry to say that. I, no, 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 no. No. No, 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 no. no, no. bad words. Come on, how, about, <laughs> how about remaster Izado? Big shout out to what, Jan. What, what is, Thanks what is for Lisa? being awake. Uh, Jan Remaster. He is a very well known Spanish speaking caster from Peru. Cast ASL in Spanish with Death Fate. Big shout out to them, their followers and fans. Yeah, sal saludos de, de, de Peru. Ah, Peru, Peru. Peru. Yeah, I know the friend of Peru. His name is, uh, his nickname was Terror. Guys, we're waiting for Lights and Best. They're going oh, yeah, to yeah, drop yeah, yeah. into the channel we're in, Alpha X. If any groupies out there want to greet them. Yeah, this is a real match. I probably shouldn't announce that, but a part of me just wants to in case there are big fans out there and just want to be in the channel with them just before we create their games it should be meeting me in alpha x on korea server big shout out to sushi for sushi. welcoming the brood war community into trovo uh, sushi is the manager of a starcraft 2 team called alpha x they're also sponsored by africa tv and Macherino. and uh they're the ones that actually set up this match between Light and Best, who are not easy to reach. So we really appreciate it, guys. Yeah, this is. <laughs> I this is a cool like StarCraft this. 2 and Brood War collaboration. You know? Uh, yeah, this is. Well, I, I mean, I can't even say anything uh, because uh, I never expected that. Uh, I had never expected the live stream, live cast, best versus light. It's even, yeah. I, I well, it's how is it that really this game has been like around for two decades and foreigners haven't? Oh, is yeah, it yeah. language barriers? I don't believe that because we have. Plenty of foreigners who've gone to Korea, and they're reachable, especially over the last few years with discords and streams. And this you can go a, into... Great question. A great question. You can hop How? into an Africa TV like channel and ask for a spawn match. And I think foreigners have, but in terms of maybe broadcasting it and observing live, I'm sure this has happened before. Like, this yeah, can't be I mean, the first time. 
Yeah, you know the spawn match uh, culture in Korea, Africa. Uh, yeah, yeah, you know that. Uh, Our whole Team Think Quick uh, series is a uh, tribute to that. Mm-hmm. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I guess uh, no one else knows that. Well, <clears throat> it's really simple that you just uh, give them uh, about 10 bucks for BO3, and they basically do that. For, like, certain players, though. I don't yeah, think. because uh, they they just get paid for that money for winning. If they yeah, the they, game, they also they get balloons get... and things like that on their own channels. But I mean, uh, they would charge. So it, I guess it depends on the players and what they want to charge. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> right. Uh, maybe these um, actual ASA players, maybe more than uh, just at least fifteen. I uh, fifty, fifty. Sorry, fifty, fifty bucks. Yeah, at least BO3. But it is uh Guys is best in the channel? Best? That's best, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, Kara real best. He's real best. So Arrow's new star, is that light? Have they been uh, in the channel this sure. whole time? I am not sure about that. Uh yeah, I'm gonna check that out. Guys, you I think I've been sitting his, uh, Oh there's Steve. Tag. Look at Steve just drop by, like, hey, what's going on? Light and best. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just checking. I, I wanted to check that out. Their uh, battle tank name. Yeah, I'm just came here for that. That has to be best. Yeah, he's real best. He's I got know. that Carbot. Um, Carbot ass rank. Marine, or is it the battle cruiser? I think it's the battle cruiser uh, pilot who's dancing yeah. with the mustache and shaking the booty. I, yeah, at that season I failed to make uh, make the ass rank. Oh, it was very hard. Anyways, uh, he's real light, yeah. I'm checking out his uh, records of the game and his battle tech is real light. Don't worry about it. Well, yeah, uh, this is a real match, guys. It's even a real AS ASL. At least BO, I uh, no, not BO, round 8. At least round, round 8, like. Uh, yeah, best and light. Really good cool. players. Four more minutes, guys. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Before the start, well, I want to say something about uh, not not uh, light between, uh, not about this light and best. It's about Quark. <laughs> Where is Quark? <laughs> uh, so he's got a baby. He's a young father, I, and uh, yeah, Quark Junior yeah, requires attention. Say, you're said... also a father, so you probably no, I'm not a father. <laughs> oh, I thought you had a kid for some reason. No, no, no. Yeah, I know all right. So all the single guys me. out there living <laughs> it up. Let's let's feel sorry for Quark. Yeah, yeah. Quark. You see, where is Quark? It's just some kind of meme. You just say, you just simply say, and you just feel better. You see? <laughs> where? Okay, is Quark? Best has said hi to us. What, what do you type to Best, guys? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I feel yeah, like yeah. such a groupie right now. You know the nickname of the Best in Korea? Uh, he's, uh, he, what is, what is he is called? He's a beast. Why is this just, uh, he, why is he call, called as beast? Is that his macro is a beast. His, his macro is uh, really, really like a goat. I mean, even more than Flash. That's why their, their score is like uh, exactly the same, you know. I mean, uh, imagine uh, Flash is doing a uh, typical third gas upgrade turn versus best. Maybe someone else, maybe someone else such as the Stork and Bisu. Uh, we can sure that we can't sure that uh, Stork or Bisu will definitely won the game versus Flash. Okay, Best but... just said, I love you guys. He's, he's oh. saying to the foreigners, Steve, you're in the channel, right? You can confirm this. Yeah, you guys should react about that. I love you too, Bess. <laughs> 사랑해요. Yeah, it's, I love you. 사랑해요. So that is so the foreign community. Come on. 
I've, I've heard best is such a good manner. Like they're everyone's very good manner. Oh, but of I've, He's I've a... heard great things about him from uh, shout out to Yoon. He has a friend who I spoke to for uh, an hour yeah, or two. Even... And he just even... he praised best so much. Best and like both are really gentlemen, even. Did, did we find out if Arrow's new star is lights? New star? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I checked that out. He's a real light. But the, uh, I, I, what? Well, I'm just curious about that. He's just, uh, he's not talking or anything. Uh, okay, I love you too. Uh, yeah, we love you, light. <laughs> we love okay, you so okay, so light yeah, 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 has yeah. responded. This oh, is really yeah, exciting. Maybe they're not talking in, in Korean. Why is that? Uh, well, yeah, anyways, you, you go ahead. <laughs> I'm just curious about that. Uh, they are not talking anything. Why is that? Uh, oh, what about the map? They're preparing for battle, Steve. Oh, yeah, 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 I know, I know. I'm just asking you that. Uh, wait, uh what about the map pool? Give us the, your best combat there. Uh, fighting, 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 fighting. <laughs> Do you want to ask them there. also uh, what maps they would like to play on? And I just wanted to get confirmation that it's seven games. Now we're seeing some Korean exchanges between Light and Best. This is very exciting oh, okay. for us, guys. Thanks for hanging oh, out. Yeah, 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 for yeah, everybody yeah, who yeah. stayed away, for anybody who's watching this after the live event, this is cool. Big shout out to Sushi from Alpha X for setting this up. Uh, big shout out to his contact for going out of his way to try to set this up. Uh, really glad to be sharing this moment for with anybody out there interested in this. Cork, I hope you come back, my friend. If not. <laughs> The VOD will be there for you. Yeah, I, He's I, always I, citing I just... lights. He's always talking about lights guide because he talks about TVP and Quirk follows it to a T. So I just really wanted him to observe and cast a light game. Oh, oh really? Yeah, then the, for the last time we should say, where is Quark? <laughs> yeah, this is, this is just a meme, okay? That's, that's not even a serious thing. Yeah, no matter. Steve, yeah, could I, you tell them that I'm also in North America, I'm the one observing, so I don't know what turn rate and things they have to... You mean the both players in Korea? If you feel comfortable saying that, maybe I can say it in English? I don't oh, know why I, I feel mean, like uh, such a groupie right now. Yeah, I'm just... So, th those two players, right? That's light and best. Yeah, I just want them to know that I'll be observing live and I'm in North America, so I don't know what TR they need to set it at to accommodate. Uh, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Thank you very uh, much, my friends. Guys, we're getting ready for the uh, best versus light. I'm joined by Sane SC and Steve and Quark and Spirit. Big shout out to uh, TL.net, Linerar for helping me out with so many things, uh, Han, and all the guys who really make things happen and uh, don't really get a proper acknowledgement sometimes. Who's talking? That's Ox. He is the manager of this, or the organizer of this whole tournament we're all organizing this guys hopefully we'll have more of these okay uh also i, I told them about uh yeah about the, how to make the turn rate and they just said i said 24 but i just informed you that i informed them about you are living in america right now so uh what if they make it in 24 Did, didn't yaps have an ample pick 24 and it was laggy yeah yeah, yeah but uh they just asked me about, oh, is there, 
that lag even uh, we make a 24 that I, I answered uh, we, we could we should we should watch about that but if there's a single lag then you, you can regain uh, director if you say uh, say that first so yeah I said that thank you Steve I'm just yeah yeah I'm just saying that it's, it, it should not be laggy right it should not very glad we have Steve here to help us out yeah, I thought there is a, another Korean, uh, yeah, uh, to translate, but yeah, whatever. I can do it. Warren is very happy to watch you play. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe they could, they couldn't understand. Oh, I'm going to translate. I just want all those players out there to know how much this means to us. In case there's any, uh, like, sense that they're sort of just being used as entertainment puppets or something like that, which I'm, I'm sure is unheard of. I mean, you got to really love the game to set something up like this. But all right, guys, we are gearing up. Yeah. Right now. I mean, finally. A battle right. between Iyer and Dominion. <laughs> Where are the Protoss fans at? Where are the Terran fans at? Are best and light gonna settle it once and for all? <laughs> Not <Yeah>. likely. <laughs> <laughs> and where's Quark? Yeah, anyways. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. I mean, oh yeah. I hope there's no lag. I just hope that there's no lag. I just play directly. I just made it back. Oh my god, you hey, just came in time, Cork. You missed everything and nothing at the same time, my friend. <laughs> yeah. Guys, we're I in the mecca have... of StarCraft right now. Do you know inside. how many times I... Yeah, do you know how many times I asked you about where's Quark? Oh, you're not here again. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I had a baby trying to sleep on me. But then now he's oh, definitely yeah. awake, so it's uh, I've given up. Um, oh, right. that's a smart baby. He knows what's about to happen. Thanks for joining us, Quark Jr. Sorry if it's really <laughs> late for you guys. Anybody out there who just stayed awake for this, like, we really appreciate it. That's, that's really cool. Um. Is Quark there? Yeah, he, yeah, he is over there. It is, uh, 1 a.m. for me. Quark, what time is it where you are? It is 11 p.m. And uh, saying, what time is it where you are in Japan? It's uh, two o six. Oh. Two o six in the afternoon. Yes. Yeah. And uh, Steve, it must be uh, two p.m. In Seoul. In the afternoon. Yeah. Seoul is the same as Japan. It's uh, two or zero six p.m. I mean. <laughs> Oh god, I'm so nervous. Wish me luck, guys. What? I've wow. observed like hundreds of games by now, but this is something else. Quar, you should say something in game. My apologies in advance for any shortcomings uh, when it comes to observing. I'm. I guess two on, don't worry. Let's go, let's go. Yeah, uh, if they're already and they make it, right? Uh, maybe they didn't understand. I should I have to translate? Yeah, of course, I, Steve. Not... You're the translator uh, here. Of course they, I'm, I'm pretty sure their English is pretty good. I've dropped into both of their Twitches before and they've agreed to spawn matches, but this was uh, organized by our lovely contact. Okay, uh, yeah, I X. said I am doing that. Uh, I'm not sure who's going to make it, but I just said uh, if you make a room, then the officer will come after that. Yeah. Steve's like sharing his contact information with them. Uh, you know, if you ever want to practice with someone. Uh, 
and light answer or uh, do do we have to make it uh, how can i answer uh yeah what is the map uh what is the first map uh let them know that they can pick the maps whatever they agree pick on the maps they are allowed to pick the maps uh, oh. i mean i would that like means... polypoid in there and eclipse if they like it Neil Sylphid, maybe, Circuit Breaker, Fighting Spirit, but it's really up to them. I don't want them to feel like we're imposing a map pool that they don't oh. feel comfortable with. Wait a minute, wait a minute. They, they just realized, uh, they, they, they have informed me that uh, they think there's, that's a seven map of ladder pool. Is that right? Uh, yeah, if they're comfortable doing that, that's perfectly fine. Oh, okay. Thank that you. means it doesn't matter, right? It's just I, I up mean, to I them just... to decide. So you could just let them know whatever maps they're comfortable both comfortable mm -hmm. with. Um, okay. Ladder. Uh, okay. If from the ladder, current ladder pool, that's fine. If if you know they want Fighting Spirit or Circuit Breaker, Neil Sylphid, which aren't in the current ladder pool, that's fine. Big shout out to Steve Young. Yeah, uh, I'm just informing that uh, the map seven, uh, seven maps doesn't matter uh, which which things you guys gonna do. It'd be uh, funny if Light just hosts, you know, like Lost Temple, <laughs> and then Best like hosts, I don't know, some sort of Protoss map. Uh, no Lost Temple, please, no Lost Temple. Yeah, no, I game. informed that uh, even to us, Fire Spirit, Circuit Breakers, Sealbit. Polypoid is a great map. What about uh, some Bloodbath or Hunters? I'll get that out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so what do you If they just play the ladder maps, that's going to be good for me because I can learn how you meant to play them. <laughs> Yeah, I pulled that. Go, go, go. Uh, yeah, they're, they're a little bit confused about the map pool right now. A little bit, but yeah. Uh, no biggie. Because... You just tell them polypoid and then lose the pets. Uh, that's easy. What about they just uh, doing some Korean Pro League? I like that. Um, loser picks. Just go for... Alright guys, we're starting up here. Yeah, um, maybe that's, that's uh, quite similar as ASL or Prolim, ASTL map. I mean, okay. it's not it's not related to the ladder map, I guess. I mean, I just... Uh, when I talked to them each other, they, they said the first place. Uh, uh, isn't that the latest ladder pool? And, and best was like... A, isn't that the last letter pool? Seven? Okay, so we have hosted Polypoid is the first oh, map. Right. We're going to get All into right. it. Thank you so much, Steve Young. Guys, best yeah. first lights. Okay. Brought to you by Think Alpha. Yeah. yeah. Collaboration between Team Think uh, Quick and rate. Alpha X. You're going to have to tell them to lower the time rate or make it dynamic. Alright, anyways. Um, okay. Turn it might black, but okay. I just let them know, I... Cork, but uh, it's really up to them, I think. <clears throat> yeah, I'm just hope that, hoping that uh, there's no lag. Guys, this was this is not bad. The game kind of started immediately, didn't it? Uh oh. I guess it's lagging. Let's oh, see it's bound right here. Mm, looks pretty lag. Yeah, this is really, really, really hard. Is it, uh, is it so, uh, when we, when we just, uh, turn right down? Okay, this is extra higher latency would be, would be make it better. We're slowly discovering why no foreigner broadcaster <laughs> organizes these show matches with pro gamers. Okay, they're saying about the situation. Uh, yeah, there's no options. They know that because uh, this is uh, live. You know, this will be happens always. 
So Steve, let's get our Korean introduction. Do it. <웃음> oh yeah. 네, 이 세트 경기는 골리포지 시작됐습니다. 먼저 보신 진영은 연한 씨의 도재혁 선수입니다. 도재혁 선수. 그리고 한 일곱 시에는 이재호 선수가 시작하고 있어요. Yeah, I did that, and I'm just, uh, I'm just want to tell you something that, uh, what was that? Ah, I forgot that. Oh my god. It's I getting a little that. smoothed out here. Looks like. Well, we do also have the option of uh, if oh, if you give your uh, if you give your Twitch key to Steve, Steve could observe and then uh, stream it to your Twitch. Over my dead body, Gork. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, that that that's not possible. Okay. I'm sorry, folks. I've received that recommendation from a few people, and I'm not giving up the chance to observe. Clark Jr. is uh, cat commentating for this situation. Is that? Uh, <laughs> Uh, this is uh, 12, yeah, 12 Nexus versus Rex Double, yeah, Rex Double. And it it's going to be, a, it's a first scout and it's close position. This is, uh, this is possibly going to be a short game because I think Light can just kill this. Yeah, Korg is uh, really like uh, educating Korg Jr. in his casting <laughs> seed right now. Yeah, he's even... Junior knows that the best is doing the Trump Nexus. And yeah, what about the the situation? I think best, I don't know, no, not best, uh, light. So this, this uh, Trump Nexus. So that's gonna be, he's he gonna do the, uh, not 50cc, not 50cc. I think this is good for best though. I think, uh... If, if you can get away with a 12 Nexus and they just take a CC in response, that's, that's a good situation. Okay, 80 CC, I guess. 19? 19? How many CC? 안녕하세요, is Steve reading this shot? No, 안녕하세요. Well, okay, I, I like this. He's going for it. Oh, right, he's he, rush. He's not committing to this, though. He can actually take a CC behind this. This is completely fine. That's why you build oh. the Vax at the natural. He can, right. he can do this bunker rush and he can go uh, oh. take CC. Yeah, I like this though, because this is even a uh, light uh, recommended uh, with in one search versus two on Nexus style. Yeah, this is real uh, common for light. Okay, this is. Oh my God! Look Ooh, at the micro. Yeah, this is so good for light. That is too good for light. Yeah, he's gonna lose oh, his last three. Oh, huge damage from best, I guess. There is oh. a zelt out here as well. Oh my God. That I is mean, a lot of SCV surviving. Both though. bunkers, even. Both bunkers. Two bunkers already on. Can he stop I mean, the Marine? No, nice blocking there from Light. Gets that Marine inside the bunker. Oh, Foregone conclusion so cool. there. A lot of SCVs just going to jump on this Nexus. Start dealing damage. Oh. But Bez headed across the map with a Zealot and a Probe. Can That's maybe do some damage on the other side of the map. GG. GG. GJ. Yeah, I, that is why you don't go 12 Nexus, because if they do Vax at the natural and they get the first scout, you are just dead, 100%. Everyone can oh. do what Light did. Oh, yeah. Uh, Start there for bed. Yeah, uh, how can I say that? Is, is it, yeah, Light, Light, Light's micro with SCV micro was decent. Super. I mean, especially the blocking the units. They're melee units. I mean, they're all melee units, but they just uh, uh, like just uh, block the whole attacks like that. Was decent. Anyways, the perfect dealing with the uh, twelve nexus by light just for the first game. It's not Bo Seven. It's not Bo Seven. It's just uh, playing the seven games total, uh, like an ultimate battle. All right. It's it doesn't it doesn't get over. If uh, if even uh, uh, even it's uh, more than four versus zero, doesn't matter. Am I right? Uh, damn, no one is talking. <laughs> I didn't understand the question. You Sorry, you are right, but the baby's crying, so my mic goes muted. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm gonna introduce in Korean. 네, 이 세트 경기는 이, 이 클립스에서 경기 시작됐습니다. 먼저 시작, 어, 먼저 오신 진영은 단시의 도지혁 선수입니다. 
1시에 도지 오픈 수고요. 네, 여기 보신 지형 7시 이지호 선수입니다. 네, 7시 이지호 선수. I love you, Steve. Thank you. Yeah, I think, uh, yeah, Eclipse. I mean, Eclipse is famous uh, as uh, doing some early, early proxy or gas r u s h even. But not the pro, uh, pro game between. Not the actual pros between the pros. They don't do the gas r u s h even. So you don't think pros do gas steal on this yeah, map? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel yeah, like yeah, I, a lot. Hmm. I don't think the best one would do the gas rush or something. Yeah, I don't think so. This game for sure not. That's way too late at this point, I think. Gotta send mm -hmm. that probe up pretty darn early. Yeah. Gonna get the regular timing here. For regular the... 10 gate. Gateway. See a nice little wall in, or wall off here for mm -hmm. light. It's gonna throw down a barracks and mm -hmm. set up a nice position to deal with the first zealot if there is one. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this is a typical situation. I think a light will do the. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, 12 gas, 12 gas. 장윤철 변현재 같은 선수는 가스러시 하죠. 아, 가능할 것 같아요. 네. 많이 보진 않았지만, 가능하다고 봅니다. 어차피 웨이비 이클립스이기 때문에 나쁠 건 없다고 생각해요. 그냥 너무 예측이 되니까 그게 문제라고 생각하는 거예요. 그 다음에 콤보가 너무 뻔하니까 가스러시라고 나서. 아무튼. Yeah, so anyways, uh... I, I'm looking forward to seeing uh, if Fest does the uh, Speed Shuttle Reaver into uh, like Shuttle Bombs and Storm Staff because that's really strong in Eclipse and I want to see it get done properly. It's so yeah, hard I mean... to take your proper third base on this map. You gotta stretch out so far as the Terran player. It's, it's really, really strong to just go for those Shuttle Bombs. Oh. Yeah, I agree. Okay, <clears throat> best did the third, 13 Zealot. Only just one zealot start. Uh, just reducing a few seconds. Just a few seconds of the probe, and he made the uh, one zealot. All right, to push. But don't worry about light because uh, he didn't start with the Rex expand. Rex, so what we call? We call it uh, pair of double, which means a Rex double. <clears throat> yeah. Anyway, so. Uh, yeah, really standard, I guess, right? Yeah, I mean, Double some photos some photos skip the zealot, but yeah, this is very standard. It's going to be a uh, factory into blanket expand. Oh, micro fight. Zealot going to head up the ramp here. Oh, just about a good block there on the. Oh, okay. and he sees the vulture. Seeing the vulture is good because I mean, he's going to be able to block his ramp. The vulture is going to do no damage at so. all. You can skip the vulture in this situation, yeah, maybe. About the, yeah, I, I just, mean... he saw the vulture, so he knows that there's definitely a vulture coming. I think there's going to be an add-on now. He might have cancelled the vulture and switched to an add-on. Wow. Is what is... yeah, oh, yeah, okay. Just... I like that. Yeah, what a smart play. I mean, he has... <laughs> That's what we think. keep thinking about the vultures run by, you know, walk by, run by, whatsoever. But... Yeah, light just cancel it and you just do switching. Not not uh, not the vulture drop or something. There there are other options. I mean such as uh three tanks push in this situation. If he did the uh, oh yeah, starboard. This that means it's not a three tanks push. It will be a vulture drop, okay. Yeah, oh uh, what about the yeah, that, is that a robo? Two, two That is a robo, yeah. Okay. This robo is like a 25, 26 robo. So, uh, I think that Best is going to get an observer there in time to see the starbot. Uh-huh. Yeah. Stable. Very stable. Yeah, I mean, this drop shouldn't do anything. The dropship will be on the map by the time the observer gets there. But he'll see the starbot. What about the... Uh... Oh, no, no, no. There's nothing gonna happen. I mean, uh, Light will go to the speed of a minor boat. Yeah, and he did the speed of first. Okay, that's reasonable. And, um, what about the minor? 
mine upgrade to do uh yeah yeah right now he's doing a right mine upgrade okay this is a bow boy just drop it's really sure and he just run by oh he's run by getting he's in here in the natural it's one probe down he's gonna head for the ramp but there is a block here nice wow. job by fast preventing it too much damage from going down there very quick pull yeah. but the vultures get out alive it, it's ridiculous three vultures run into four dragoons and two of them make it out alive <laughs> oh, he, he did they the... just take no damage yeah he got no damage at all which means he didn't he didn't make any mistakes for that even that's a predictable situation i uh, maybe it's predictable but uh even that was too fast you know but he just Completely. Wow. I do and... like Best's position though. Best taking a very quick third uh, Nexus off of only, I think, six dragoons. But he can do that in the spot if it's uh, one factory. He's not in any danger. He can go very quick through base, and that's exactly what he's doing. And what about this four Bolter Straw? Is it. Yeah. Uh, can, can I get it? Uh, do a good damage for that? Where are the dragoons here? They're all I'm sitting at the I'm surprised no dragoons in, in, oh in the Oh my main, yeah. god. Here they come, running into the main. Oh, oh the mine's oh, getting oh, set oh, down here. Gotta be very careful not to let these mines set off. Oh, oh big oh, shot. Yeah, yeah. And there's no building wall. There's a lot of probes going down. Walter's gonna run out here. Okay, head, heads down into the yeah, natural. There should be some more. Oh my god, run by Vulture again. But I think uh, this is not not too bad for best. No, nope. I'm I'm surprised how bad the buildings were. So I feel like he should have uh, placed the gateway in his uh, natural wall just to close it off as the dropship happened, because there's always going to be vultures running in from the map, and he didn't do it. Yeah, it's a really decent block. Oh, wow, and yeah, the defusing the vice. Uh, to uh, to contain the center, to capture the center by best, and yeah, light is um, what we're gonna light do after this. Does best have an observer in light space? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, there's okay. A... Yeah, this is a this is a good situation for best. He's got a lot of yeah. money. He's got three bases, and he can see exactly what he's playing against. Yeah, I like this what a lot is for he best. doing? He's just watching it, right? Yeah. Big two base push coming out of light coming up very, very soon. That's gonna have to add on a lot of gateways. How many factories is that? Six? Five it's facts? Five. Yeah, so five he's gonna facts. have to add on at least seven gateways. Is that right, Core? Mm -hmm. Uh, Yeah, he's gonna want to, he's not gonna get bothered with attack anymore. I think that the, he, he, I don't think he's gonna go carriers. He's I think he's going to go carriers. gateways and uh, just uh, zealot bombs at this point because he can see that his opponent's about to push. It's not a good time to go carriers, and I think he knows it. Okay, lies so the carriers and and he's making six backs to push forward. You see, and yeah, what about best? He should make. Uh, I think he should make some more gateways to uh, yeah, get he... some more ground units. He doesn't yeah. have time for carriers at this point. It's you don't go carriers into a six pack because the, what will happen is the six pack will kill you before the carriers have their interceptors. He needs gateways. He needs gateway units. He needs zealots and shuttles. Uh, yeah, he could make a corsair. I would like a corsair. Corsairs. <laughs> one corsair for the dropship. Yeah, one corsair. If you uh, already have a stargate, it's completely free. Uh, well, yeah. Let's see about the best. Choice, yeah, best, best choice. Okay, uh, I like the shuttle. The shuttle with the zealot bombs, that's good. He's making I, the carriers. I think this is optimistic. I think this is because he doesn't need the carriers to win. He's on three bases against two. If he just goes ground units, he can win. Carriers, I think, could actually lose in the game. Yeah, I think that if he makes a large ground army and just defeats this army, then he could switch into carriers later. But going for carriers right now is going to put him in a tough, tough situation when this army comes across the map. He's not going to have the interceptors. He's oh, going to, I think, uh, we've seen this a lot actually recently from a lot of these pro players, is going around with the dragons because what a lot of these Terran players like to do 
is they'll send out this big army but not have many Goliaths with it and just rally Goliaths. And then if you can get in between the tanks and the rallying Goliaths, then you can kill those Goliaths as they come out and then you can just clean up the tanks and the vultures with your carriers as they pop out. But we'll see I here. It is going to be that counterattack. Yeah, I'm worried about best here. I, I don't think that this is this is going to be a good situation. I think that... Uh... Well, there's worries in the bunker. Oh. Yeah, I mean, so the carrier has no, no anti-air here. Yeah. No anti-air whatsoever, but, yeah, but it's got the carrier is doing no damage. It's got one oh, inch interceptor doing six damage a hit. Oh no, he's walking through a minefield here. He's trying to get back. This has come a little bit too soon. Oh, yeah, this is exactly what I... This was, this was always going to happen. If he went carriers against the six pack, this was always going to happen, 100% of the time. And I, I don't understand it, because Best, Best knows this. Yeah, well, Light has to make, uh, destroy the naturals. Um, yeah, 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 Nexus like that, at least. He messes, uh, he messes so many units. Oh, yeah, boy, oh, Goliath's truck. Goliath's okay, truck. Okay, they cover. Oh, that's so okay, smart. They cover <laughs> that. so clutch. That is so yeah, clutch, clutch from Light. Wow. I don't yeah, know why I... Best did this, though. Best, this, because I, I don't want to say Best is a bad player, because he's fucking Best. He's an amazing player. Oh but also, God. he had an Observer, he saw a six pack, and he went carriers. Like, what, what's going on? Yeah, he's really, really fast, man. Really, 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 really fast. Light is playing really fast. We even can't predict, and even Observer's, Observer can't uh, go fast. Uh, Go for I mean, uh, go below. Oh my god. Oh yeah, 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 the best is losing the ground. No, best is dead. The carriers did nothing. This is uh, this is why you don't go carrier into six pack. This is yeah, this ever is what, <laughs> wrong. Yeah. yeah, this is what happens. You just uh, bought a very, very expensive cars and you lost the job. Yeah, this yeah, is exactly he's what got, He's got carriers, but he's got no money. Yeah, he has <laughs> no money for that. He has no spare payment. He has no job for that, and he has no pay for the... Even the fuel for that. Yeah. And oh my Be god. Best did this to himself. He had an observer in light space. He looked at the sick factory, and he goes, Okay, carriers. That, 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 that's what's so weird, is that light didn't counter best. Best counted best. <laughs> oh, really? oh, Waiting for God. the tap out moment here from Best. He is in such horrible shape. He's trying to take his natural nexus at this point, but there's just no chance whatsoever. He's going to have to tap out. He's got a few units headed towards the natural of Best. Those will just get cleaned up by the rallies. And a giant force outside of his natural. Uh, can you check the carriers to see if here. any of the carriers have eight interceptors? Because we saw one with four, I think he might not have the upgrade. Yeah, yeah. Wow, oh, epic moment was uh, four bushes. Okay, five. Four goliaths drop. Four goliaths drop was really. No one expected for that. I mean, <laughs> that was wow. very clutch. That was a yeah, good move. even even best intended to snipe those uh, reinforcement units. I mean, collect the supply lines. Wow. And. And it's about to be destroyed the uh, best main and he's doing so oh my god is, is it elimination game or is he trying to do the elimination game or something? Looks like a counterattack here into the natural of light. Can he actually get through here? Be oh light just turns around oh. everything. He's gonna come back and crush this army. Leaves the main but there's no mining whatsoever. I mean, Best pretty much mined out in the main. I don't think there's yeah. any minerals left. He's gonna run out of interceptors eventually. Even if he doesn't just. Oh my god, he's just not even able to kill this oh, bunker. Oh. Ridiculous. Bunker! The repair. Oh, so great. much repair. Oh, GG. Oh, god. GG. Light takes another oh. victory. Guys, I wanna take a moment and just try to defend best here because uh i feel like i know kind of the idea of what he was doing i don't think he was making a huge blunder or anything there i mean the attack came out so early and i what i believe was the plan from best here was what we've seen a lot recently out of some of these pro players is a attack where 
they just build carriers and then they send the the dragoons around behind the army as it comes out and then cut off the reinforcements and then the enemy player just doesn't have any anti-air and you can clean everything up with the carriers i've seen this done especially by stork in the past it's a very kind of a new style and traditionally yes you would absolutely just lose but usually you would leave a little bit later than that and probably with a few goliaths inside that army and we saw light just move out so damn quickly it was crazy he just came right across the map didn't have any anti-air whatsoever but uh yeah just took uh, i think fast a little bit off guard there i i mean you say he caught best off guard best had observers above light's face it, oh, he knew if you can the, see what light's the, doing how off guard yeah. can you be he knew that the attack was coming he just didn't expect it to be that fast he expected him probably to add on a few Goliaths as well. After seeing that there are carriers coming, you didn't gonna add Goliaths to your army, and then he cut off the reinforcements is the plan for best. But he just moved out with a giant ground force, no anti-air whatsoever, and then drops the Goliaths. That's that's a pretty clutch maneuver. And okay, we're no, gonna see I, forward I, gates. Anyway. Is it gonna be one gate or two? Is the question. <laughs> yeah, this map is uh, this map is a uh, Polaris Rhapsody. Yeah, this is not uh, Overwatch. And he's doing a proxy. Okay, this is because uh, this is a two-player map, and this is a very very short distance. You know. I think uh, this is one gateway into Gas Steel. I don't think this is a two gate because he mm -hmm. did seven pylon. It's going to be seven pylon, eight gateway, and then I think it's going to be Gas Steel. Wow, well, eight gate, eight gate, oh, really fast. Eight gate, really yeah. fast. And the reason you do a uh, seven pile on eight gateway is so you can get the probe to the natural and it's the same time wow. as a normal gas deal. So it looks normal to Terran, but it isn't normal. This is, uh, is this is a mind game. And gas, gas rush. Yeah. Wow. I've seen this a lot on Eclipse where uh, you go, <laughs> you make it look like just a normal gas deal, but it's not. But you have to go seven pile on eight gateway. It's the only way you can make it work. Mm. Oh yeah, this is... Yeah, maybe the Protoss players are really, really feeling uh, sweet or something <laughs> for this, man. <laughs> oh. Okay, does have well, a nice Sim City here for like. Oh. oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come to think of should, that, it was really decent. Should have yeah. a good position here to fight back this Zealot, but it will be tough. That Zealot's coming out very, very quickly. Mm -hmm. Not even finished. That, and he's, just, he's not going to be able to take his uh, kill the gas. Because there's going to be zealots on his face. He's going to be fighting the zealots. He's not going to be able to take a CC. It's going to be a, a weird situation. He's actually going to have to build a second barracks, I think. Okay. He's going out and... What is that? Is that bunker? No, it's depot. A but depot. he will need to build a second barracks. All right. All right. Uh, yeah, second depot is reasonable. Because he has to make it and he's just doing a, using it as a sim city too. Only for uh, penetratable uh, run by to uh only for marines you know and yeah looks like he's uh yeah no damage is for so far it's not that damage i call uh because uh no scvs are dead it's not damage okay this uh blocking oh yeah the block was decent wow so far, i like no that he's damage. still killing the gas Killing the gas at the same time is good because oh, otherwise yeah, yeah, yeah. these alerts will keep the gas alive forever. Oh, it's not. I'm not sure it's, uh, it's, it's really good for S someone. I mean, this is not sure. I think a life I is, think this is not good for that best. damaged. Oh, you, you think a best, best is better, right? Best, well, best gas. Best has uh, 160 gas already. He's going into uh, Dragoon with Dragoon range. And I don't know how Light is going to fight the Dragoons. Yeah, 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 deal with that. I mean, that, that's what I just wanted to say. Yeah, this, uh, the add to the combo, it's not at all. Yeah, um, what about, yeah, I think Light is going to uh, make a natural CC first. He's, yeah, he, you see he's sparing the, he's saving the money. Yeah, he's even making a bunker right now. He's yeah, this is this is the this is the game here. It's can he get the bunker down? Can he get the marines oh. in the bunker? Oh, that's such oh, a good rule. Yeah, well, what about this fight? What about this fight? Okay. Well, that was some oh, pretty yeah, good yeah. micro there from yeah. Light. 
Oh, yeah, be best whole build the... was trying to make sure that bunker did not go down. That was his plan, and the I bunker mean, this... goes down. This is really like no damage so far. Yeah, I mean, Light did that even, very well. Even Bass did well, but he, Bass, I don't know, Light just feel like a monster of defense. Yeah, Bass needed to stop that bunker, because if Bass can stop that bunker, he gets the Dragoon uh, before there's any bunker, and he can just start killing the Marines. But if the bunker goes down, the Dragoon does nothing. Well, this is what we expect from Light. Very, very solid defensive macro play. Yeah. No holes in this game. Yeah, this is what. Wow. And even he's, uh, he's almost... His factory is almost finished, so he can deal with the uh, range of girls fast. No, no late timing. All the timings are very, very solid. Very solid so far. Only two goons. Okay, that's not that. Uh, that's not that dangerous. That's, that doesn't look dangerous. This map no, is, well, uh... it, it's because the bunker's up. The best timing was trying to hit before the bunker was up. And if he could uh, use the Zealots and one Dragoon to take control of the natural, he could delay Light's uh, command center. But Light did such good micro on the ramp. Light oh. uh, just killed all the Zealots on the ramp, got the bunker, and then the Dragoon do nothing. Even he's making a turret for the only for main DT. You know what I'm saying? He even thinking about all of the kind of cheese. Even Best yeah. is not doing a cheesy thing. He's, he's he can think about that. Oh yeah. Yeah, because, well, Best killed Light Scout SCV. Light doesn't know what Best is doing behind us. What about the uh, Best uh, later than this? I mean, uh, what, what is his BO right now? Why, what is he making? Is that, uh, is that, uh, what is that? Oh, Reaver. All right. Reaver is reasonable. Okay. Yeah, it's very standard. Especially? Reasonable. I think so. I think it is reasonable. This map is uh, really useful. I mean, the rivers are really useful in this map. There are a lot of hills and and there's a lot of uh, small ro roads like that, such as like those bridge and so many hills, even. So yeah, the rivers are really good at uh, de defense, uh, de defense, uh, defending the time rush or even harassment. Or maybe he does a harassment too, yeah, so. Yeah, and you just get you get a loose container with the Reaver, you drop the Reaver outside their base, and it stops them from moving out. They have to slowly push out to get the Reaver out of the way. So it's going to keep Best Gateway alive for quite a while longer. That proxy Gateway, normally it would die to the first like, tank Marine push. But if you get a single Reaver, the uh, Light cannot do a tank Marine push into a Reaver. Yeah, Light getting uh... up here. He'll get a lot of defenses in position. He's got his turrets. Slowly going to push out and perhaps take a third base. Don't think he's going to be able to just shove across the map here against a Reaver uh, anytime soon. Then to defend carefully, eventually get into a third and a later push. This is what I love about Best is just the, the willingness to go into the very, very longest and latest games uh, against any race, really. Ross, Terran, or Zerg. He's just he's just takes base like crazy. Such solid macro and standard play. Now it's gonna deal with this reaver. Where is it gonna land? Best looking for a good spot to actually land this. No turrets wow. down here just yet, so you can fly right through. Perfect reactions here from Light. Wow. And Best not taking the opportunity. Wow, yeah, they literally can't drop. Literally, <laughs> he can't drop. Shadowed by light perfectly as he moves through the base. Has to fall back. You know, you just keep that alive. That reaver is very important for the defense here, so you can't risk dropping and losing that right now. Spent a lot of cash to actually get that going, so I'm gonna come out here and take the ramp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. take the ramp. Big yeah. shot there. Yeah, I'm surprised the reaver ate a uh, tank shot there. That was avoidable. Oh, this is wrong by even. Oh, yeah, little mice. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, but that's the second bit. Okay, he's fine. 
I mean, this is a primal situation. I mean, this, uh, that's like a war in Le uh, League of Legends or something. It's just uh, capturing the site, you know, with the mice. It even is for free. Why not? Oh, yeah, light is now going out so yeah. Going out. How many factors he has right now? Three. Oh, three packs. Yeah, I think Best can hold this. Best has a lot of units. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If he gets and... in good position here first, then it's going to be really hard to break on the high ground, though. Yeah. Ooh, everything getting set up perfectly here. Well, he's got really the shuttle, like though. The Reaver's about to fly in. Yeah, Once the Reaver gets in, it's going to be Reaver. different. Like, yeah, this oh, is a huge black there's a Double Reaver. What One if Reaver does come instantly. Reaver? What if he can't huh. reduce a Reaver? Not targeting no. onto this uh, shuttle here. Everything gets surrounded and killed. Best saves one Reaver. Nice hold there by Best. Wow. Oh, that's a pretty good one by there. Damage. I'm Down here in the natural. Unpredictable situation before that. Two boats just rock. This isn't unpredictable. This happens every single PvP. Every PvP, <laughs> whenever they can attack, they run uh, uh, boats into your natural. 100% of yeah, the game. Vultures. I understand, part. Yeah. If the terrain is good at those run by two watches like that, it's annoying for Poros, I know. Really annoying. Even TVT is really annoying when when three watches are run by. <laughs> You're really annoying. Yeah, there's just nothing you can do except building walls. So like uh, the very uh yeah, very solid way third. Though it is a mineral, uh, but doesn't matter because uh, Bez also got the mineral expand first. And one more point is that the map, this map is all about the half split, which means uh, between the 1 o'clock 2 gas and 7 o'clock 2 gas. You know, if the game is going late. Can we see best tech? I want to see what he has. Is it just Reaver or does he have more? Okay, speed up is completed and... Uh, it's not... Okay, we're gonna see uh, Storm speed each other style, I think. Yeah, yeah, speed This is gonna shows. be good. I guess. Wow, this is... Both are very solid and... Even they do... Uh, I thought they, they got a, a decent damage for both each other. They're serious, I mean... They just don't attack uh, without thinking. They they really serious about that. And, and every moves. Yeah, this is what happens if you're beating the pro games. This is a very scrappy game here. Both players trying to take their next expansion. Where is Light's next expansion? I guess over to the right hand side there. This is kind of a, a nutty map. It's like that's gonna take up in the top right. That's gonna be pretty good, I think, for. Or light here. He's pushing in the same direction as he is expanding. That's always a good thing for the Terran players. Just push forward and expand behind. Going to have a gonna shuttle flying double in the reaver. main. This double reaver inside there? Oh, only a okay. single reaver. I think. Okay, one reaver. Oh. 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 Ah, yeah, gets one more shot on. Six uh, kills on this Reaver. Not the yeah, most. Yeah, only four SCDs but... just now. I don't know about I, this I, push, I, though. I, we just lost his shuttle. If he doesn't oh, have his shuttle, no. how's he gonna stop the push? Yeah, this I, push I, coming I, up I. here. Best just getting in position now. He's been allowing Light to get in such good position. He's getting the oh, zealots oh. on top. Wow! Oh, it's a beautiful storm! Beautiful storm. Huge surround with the uh, Dragoons. That's Massive how you do it. Damage. That's how you kill the There you go. Well wow. done, Best. How is he going to handle that attack? Well, he's got another shuttle in the background, ready and waiting. He didn't even need the Reaver. Beautiful stuff there from Best. He holds on. He gets his fourth base up, and that's the second push he's dealt with from Light. Even before, he, he didn't even see it before it came out. Got right up to his natural, but managed to deal with it. That's just the power that you get from this style with the fast shuttles, early zealots, and lots of gateway units. And he, he's getting the value he needs from the storm, because one issue with this style is that if the Terran isn't feeding you tanks, you can't kill tanks constantly. 
you end up behind. It, it's not. It doesn't have the late game the same way Arbiters or Carriers do. You need to constantly be getting tank kills. But Light just fed him like seven tank kills just now. So best is getting the value he needs. That's right. We've seen a lot recently as well. People kind of switching out of the style later on as they get into larger numbers of bases. They start to add on those Arbiters to give them that late game potential. We'll see if Best decides to add on Arbiters here or if he's just going to stick to this style. It's been working well for him, but like you said, when you get to that really, really maxed out Terran with lots and lots of tanks, it's just not as good of an army as what you have with Arbiters. So, Light going to come yeah. out here, claim the high ground, drop a lot of mines. And try to take some position up here in the top right hand corner. He's going to send all those vultures up there. Is there enough uh, cannons up in top right to actually deal with this? I think there might be. Wow, huge mine hits on yeah. some of those. Yeah. But there's not and enough cannons here. He's going to lose a lot of probes. Oh. This is huge probe damage. Light just be killing his observers all game. But the reason that Best's army is not going up here, there's no observers. And the reason there's no observers is because Light keeps scanning them and killing them with the, rope, with the Goliath. Oh, great play there from Light. He kills yeah. so many of oh. those probes. Best is trying to counterattack. Big counterattack here, headed towards the natural. There's only two tanks on high ground here, but Zealots are already on top of those. Oh, really? He's got another shuttle here, but I think those oh. are it's full of the That balance is doing so much value. I, I can't He's believe the Best is attacking the Rat. Here. Like He's going to drop and send out all the storms, oh. try to stop oh. these units from helping out oh. in the natural big storms oh, on everything storms. on the rock. Oh. Brutal, brutal oh, damage. Huge nice. storms, Another yeah. Another storm oh. there. Annihilating the tanks. Look at the supply. This I think that has it. Awesome for best. Like, that's like 40 supply of time just yeah, disappeared yeah. in a minute. Even there are more, more zeros. More zeros coming out, I guess. I mean, there should be more zeros. Uh, then you can do count. Oh my god, more storms. Oh, so many storms. Dragoons down no in tanks. the right dead. side. Yeah, no tanks are dead. No tanks are dead. Because uh, we can count the. Yeah, all girls are. Oh, this is. Uh, that, that just the best map for Where, I mean, Light was doing so many good plays. He was picking off the observers. He was getting pushes going everywhere. He was, like, map controlling with the mines, harassing with the vultures. And then Best just says, okay, but I have 12 gateways. I'm just going to kill you. Wow, man. I mean... Uh, that's just how Best plays. He has such powerful macro. I mean, I never thought about that the counter that will go on. I mean, that will be working. I, I never thought about that. It worked. I mean, you can see that Light saw it as a possibility. He had the barracks and the supply depot in position to try and block that. But it just wasn't enough. Best cracks it. Gets into the natural. Man, the, just the storms on that ramp yeah. as, as he tried to re just retreat his units and defend his natural were brutal. Brutal there. Alright, you think I can do a uh, an intro here for this one? Can you uh, uh, English intro? All right, guys. What's yeah. this map here? We're on Polypoid. Fighting, fighting Spirit. spirit. Okay. How do you not recognize right. Fighting Spirit? It's been a little while since I saw Fighting Spirit. Here we go, guys. Best up here in the top right-hand corner in the teal on Fighting Spirit. He's looking good here from that last win. And down here in the bottom right-hand corner, Light. Orange Terran player. Gonna look for some revenge here. Man, he did some crazy stuff in the first couple of games, just going all out with the quick rushes there. But, yeah, we'll see. We'll see if Bress can just, uh, you know, keep it up with this style. Is he just gonna keep going with that shuttle, speed shuttle style? I like to see it, man. I like to see it a lot feels so strong right now and it seems like the only way that Protoss is going to be able to do well this ASL is mixing in that type of play you know because Terran is just so strong right now you guys watch KCM as well yeah KCM that's a race fight I mean the, yes. the Terran between Protoss and Zerg 
Protoss has been struggling so hard in that race fight. It's crazy. Have haven't won a week for a very long time. Oh, Keep getting yeah. dominated by these Terran and Zerg players, so um, we need to see more innovative stuff coming from Protoss to give them a yeah. good chance to actually win in some of these race wars, some of these big tournaments as well. We need Vayne back for the Protoss team. <laughs> Yeah, we need a rain back for sure. Okay, looks like uh, Lighty will go to the yeah factory, factory start, and best will be the yeah. I'm not sure, but uh, we'll see what happens. Yeah, best is just going straight core, no zealot. I mean, this is okay. this is all very standard. Mm -hmm. Ah, yeah, yeah. He didn't use the two supply for that. Okay. Yeah, these days uh, turn and zero players are too good in Korean scenes. Really good. So just so my queen and flash rush light. So many, so many decent players. I'm surprised that Best doesn't place his buildings to uh, block vultures. Like a lot of Protoss players will put like their cybernetic core above the gas, that kind of thing, just to make sure that uh, you get that wall so early. And I think it would have helped him on the Eclipse game. The Vultures got around his base a lot. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he still he didn't do that. Uh, he's really good at defense, you know. Uh, we saw the whole three games. His defense was really good, man. Really good. Especially versus Vultures. I mean, uh, okay. yeah. This looks like a 20 Phoenix to me. So probably 20 Phoenix, 25 Robo is what I would expect. I say that he... Never mind, I, it's, I, do I have a third pylon? Okay, you have a third pylon, it's not 20 Phoenix. And Interesting. And I will do the bugger double. Yeah, bugger double, okay. Okay, three more is, are there, so... Yeah, you... Oh, there's a probe, there's a probe! That's, that's uh, quite a... Oh, that's pretty, I think, uh, a little bit... Okay, there's a Vulture coming out, okay. It's fine. I'm gonna shove this Dragoon back across the map. Yes! Oh. Sometimes, oh, uh, yeah, Try to add that. the DPS. Try to add the DPS with the Marine. There you go. Marine gets the yeah, kill. Yeah, I don't think that was worth it. Like, the, the sending a probe just to get the extra hit on the Marine was, was cute, but it wasn't worth it. I mean, that shrine uh, with the only uh, single goon and single probe is, is yeah, it sometimes happens. It sometimes just happens. So that's, uh, it light reacted that so late or even he didn't make a vulture first, it would be dangerous. It might be dangerous. And I really uh, like uh, light's SCV timing inside best space because best hasn't been able to commit to attack yet, I think. He hasn't, uh, he hasn't shown a Robo or a Citadel, and the reason he hasn't shown it is because he doesn't want Light to see. Yeah, what about the Light's deal right now? He made a tank. Uh... He made the tank after that. What, what, what is he going to do? Make, or will he make a Armory or maybe an Academy? I don't know if he saw the uh, Robo. If he saw the Robo, he can. Uh, he doesn't need the the Quick Academy. But if he didn't, then he will need it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think uh, Light is gonna do the push right now. Six Marines are on. Oh, uh, and losing that first here. dragoon is gonna really hurt Best here. If you if you're one dragoon down, it makes such a difference. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You right. You got that right. He lost the first. Yeah, he got the. He lost the first goon right now. Looks like Bess is uh trying to prepare about the dropship play, but it is not. It was not. Okay, four goons so, versus. Bess has uh, three gateways, but it's three gateways is still we'll jump not gonna be enough. Jumping on the tank here. He's gonna get jump one of them. Focus the focus the. Oh yeah, yeah. Fighting with the, the probes focus. as well. Pretty good surround with the probes onto a bunch of those marines, but he loses but most he of lost. the dragoons. I think he's just going to end up falling here. That's gonna pump out some more dragoons, but mines are already in position. 
Yeah. And Bess can hold the match. He's got three good runes. Uh, he has the observer. The, the, the damage is done. I think Light should just run back. Light can still save his tank. Or not. Like he's he's done enough damage. Oh, more Mojo coming out, and he's just trying to. That means he's he's trying to push more. Yeah, I don't yeah, like just... this. Light, you've done enough. Go home. Save the tank. <laughs> okay, like, that's good. He does not it's, agree. It's he's got five kills. More damage. Like, send it there home. Now the tank is. Give that tank home. a medal. It's got five kills. Send it home. Give it a medal. <laughs> nah, yeah, he needs yeah, to live. Just... <laughs> okay, you're mad about that part <laughs> because Light is uh, trying to torture the Flora situation. Anyways, uh, yeah. Jazz changes to the, the switch to the river right now. Uh, since he's making a support bay right now. That went really well for Light. He lost. Uh, he sent what two tanks and some vultures, and one of the tanks came home. He that cost him one tank, and he got so many pro kills. Oh, yeah. This is great for Light. Yeah, right. And he's. Um... Yeah, Light is a really solid ascent. Uh, it's not center, it's solid. Uh, oh yeah, Bass got the uh, damages of the mines, mine again. Uh, at least, uh, at least Light didn't make a star pool yet, right? And that means he didn't, uh, he doesn't have a plan, plan about drop. So yeah, Bass, uh, just think about the. Uh, Reboot drop and just uh, Vulture's run by. Or maybe, maybe Time Rush. How many factories? It looked like four factories to me. It's, it's four. Oh, and he kills and... the Observer. I love it. It's it's uh, so good to kill the Observers like that. But the Reaver is coming out. In Light's natural. Oh yeah, he's making a turret. Okay, this is uh solid. Okay. Here it comes. There's the reaver. Pops out. Goes for the Yellow shot. Tank, the tank shot. Beautiful. Shots for the tank. Uh, uh, oh, Gonna okay. get one tank yeah, for one his tank. trouble. But it's takes quite a bit of damage on the reaver. That Was that the veteran tank. that got sniped? Well, you, you're the observer. You can look at the kill count. <laughs> oh, it was. Oh no. R.I.P. That veteran tank, you will be missed. Type F what? in the chat, boys, for the tank. What if he, uh, since he has uh, four factories, so he just make uh, more turrets, like uh, more two more, and he just suddenly go out. Yeah, well, Light can go in two di directions here. He can build a CC and take six o'clock, or he can do a push. And he killed the Observer, which means Best doesn't know which one he's going to do. That's uh, and also best cannot replace the observer easily because best is going reavers. It it's so good to kill observers if your opponent is going shuttles and reavers, because they just cannot build new observers. Best is playing blind, and that is fantastic for like. Oh, run by again! Oh my god! Uh, how does run he do it? Again. It's beautiful. Wow, run by again. <laughs> I I never expected about that. I have never expected expected about this. Oh, oh! no 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 no! This will be. Paradise. That's why you build buildings above the gas. I, I said it right at the start of the game. You got to build a building above that gas to stop the vultures running through. Oh, that was beautiful smash. This is like a smack. This is like a sm oh no no. Wow, this is uh, very bad for Bess again. Really, really. Yeah, like I like bad. Light's position so much. Best has no tech. He He's has Reavers, and that's it. Wrong by again? Oh, no, 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 no. no. Trying Not to again. get the mind trick here. Jump over the wall. Yeah, I would get it. Failed. <laughs> uh, and. Oh, yeah, two Reavers are yeah, harassing. Yeah, knocking the. Bunker, I guess. But Light isn't leaving his base. Light Best has a giant army on the map. But if Light doesn't leave his base, Light's just gonna get upgrades. Best army's gonna stop working. Mm. 
uh, Light is playing this so well. Because the only way Light can lose is to walk into the middle of the map, run into the speed lots, and just die. But he's not yeah, doing it. He's getting upgrades. Light is staying home. Getting... He's not getting risk right now. Yeah, he's Light is not getting risk at all. He's just not getting risk. Uh... Yeah, and Best, Best is on a timer. Best has no tech. So once these upgrades are done, Best cannot actually win the game. He has to get. The, he has to win the game before Light gets the two one, and he's not going to. Ah. Uh -huh. Okay, he's even thinking about the drop shot. Okay, yeah, he, that, that would be very painful because uh, Light even can press his main, so he just fall. Uh, his some of his goons are fall, falling back, and he just uh, keep thinking about the movement of drop ship. That means he can. He can counterattack fast. Does okay, best see... does flash? Or sorry, excuse me. Does light have a command center that's floating over there by the third? Is that is that a command? No, no command center here. So actually, best getting in position. He wants to deny this classic on fighting spirit here. Uh, sorry. Yeah, on Fighting Spirit, he's going to try and block that uh, high ground. Just don't allow that to be taken, but it's not even the plan here for Light. He's not going to try and take that. He's just going to get a giant army and go across the map, I think. Yeah, I mean, Light doesn't need three bases to win. Light needs 2-1 upgrades, and there's nothing that Best can do to stop those upgrades. Light's strategy for this game doesn't need a third base to work. He gets 2-1 upgrades, he walks across the map, 2-1 upgrades win. Yeah, Best and Light right here. Getting close. Don't probably know that. Uh, Light is waiting for two cross one, I guess. They know that. And yeah, Light is waiting for the mass supply with two plus one, plus two and one, really. Uh, Best committing yeah, well, so much down here. He's got a bunch of goods. He's got two Reavers on high ground. He's just not expecting this. He's expecting that third base take. And that's, that's all because of that early observer that died inside Light's main. Best hasn't been able to scout inside the main since then. He might be right there. He's heading out on the map. Light actually sets up mines north of his position there. So it's a little bit strange. If you're going to push directly up towards the north, that you would put, place mines in that location. But he's actually sending his army in kind of a weird location here. I'm not... <clears throat> Clear on what he's doing. He's sending him down towards the third base. Oh, actually. he's just going to kill the units down here. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he's, just... he's going to kill him. Yeah, he's going to pick him up for three. He knows that he can get a very, very efficient trade here. And then after that, he can push. I love it. Yeah, the point is uh, he, he's making high tempers or even the augers. Or not. Because he's not, uh, Bass is not mining their gas right now. So uh, I'm just curious about that. He's making a high tempers or not. I, I don't think. He's making high tempers mass. The, the, three, the four shuttles are in. Uh, the one of them is uh, two rivers and the, the, the other three. Three would be, I guess, uh, those are only zealous, I guess. I'm going for sure. the counterattack here. Best gonna head towards the natural. Jumps on top of some of these tanks. A long stream of zealots think, gonna be yeah. pouring in here. Can he actually take out a bunch of these tanks and reset this count? He is taking it's quite two a few, upgrade, a though. lot. It's not going to work, 2-1 upgrade. A lot of the yeah, Terran but... is over on the left hand side, and so much of it is unseaged. To get on top of some of this, can he get some good connections with the mines? No, nope. gets killed off and back up. Best, 113 to supply at the end of this to 134. Yeah, I mean, look at that supply switch. It's, I mean, it's, it's just the upgrade. You cannot fight Vulture Tank with Speedlocks once the, they get upgrades. Can't be done. Okay, so uh, there's no uh, two and one. Yeah, two lights two and one. Oh, really, really scary. This is real big timing. It's real big timing. Ha uh, how many storms are re uh, loaded for best right now? Oh, he's sniping those high Oh, yeah, beautiful. Oh, he just kills his high temper. Yeah, this is, uh, He knows it's the only way he can lose is if there's amazing storm. So he just kills the high temper. Yeah, that's why what I just wanted to say. Yeah, this. No, no Templars dead, no Storms dead. The, the upgrades are really behind right now. Really behind. Even, yeah. even no harassment. Oh yeah, maybe, maybe the best is doing his best for uh, uh, harassing uh, six o'clock. 
with two rivers. We, we, we can see that on the minimap only. But uh, what about the yeah? What about the choking is natural like that for light? So there are, I think, four speed shuttles. So light. So so best can can drop on the tanks. But even so, I mean, it's there's just not enough supply. It's 120 against 150. Yeah, even the upgrades are behind, not ahead. Here we go. Sending in the here shuttles, go. gonna drop a bunch of zealots here, right on top of these tanks. There's quite a few tanks in the background and a lot of melting. vultures just melting, melting through. Yeah, and light was manually targeting the tanks. If you look, if you watched what the tanks were doing there, they, the tanks would look at look at the uh, zealots, and then the towers would just swing round and shoot the dragoons. Shooting. That was manual targeting. Oh. He was just forcing his tanks to kill dragoons and ignore the zealots. That was really good. Job by like takes another victory here. Best. Yeah. Ouch, uh, man. Ouch. Yeah, I want to say something about the detail of the game. Uh, he started with best started with uh, uh, two gaze observers, but he switched to the river. And he switched the river and even a speed up. And later that he got the third. Uh, yeah, and he didn't mind the third gas. Well, yeah, that's why was, he can't that's take behind a... from the start. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, yeah, he lost the first dragoon, and then Light just uh, he hit him with the tank timing, and because that dragoon's dead, uh, Best can't hold it. Best, I think, had three gateway obs, but three gateway obs doesn't help if the tanks are already in your natural. And he lost so many probes. After he lost the probes, he was just trying to play like to, to recover. He he never went towards his tech. He just tried to to get light with a timing, but light didn't give him anything. Light never left his base with anything that best could attack. It was it was such a clean mechanical win by light. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm just saying that uh, he he has a, he has no chance to make a high templars with the sword. Uh, even he made the four shells. Yeah. All right, on to the next one here, guys. Top center here, best in the purple. Down, way down, down in the bottom left-hand corner. We got light blue Terran. What map is this? I don't, I don't recognize this. Oh, yeah, everybody expects me to know now. What was that map? That, that map... His name was Ascension, I, I remember. Ascension, I, I don't know that it was, it was a... I've never seen this before. Oh no, yes, you saw that. Uh, that was played by the Scam vs. Colored. Oh, is this Ascension by Latius? It's a new map that was submitted to ASL. I'm yeah, not yeah, certain yeah. if it I'm was saying. accepted yet. So Latius is the Korean map maker who made uh, Eclipse and Neil Silphid. Mm -hmm. Big shout out to him. He's part of our Discord. Yeah, this is a remake of the. Uh, this is some kind of remake the third uh, three players map of Blue Storm. Yeah, this uh, there's a hill a lot of, and even a short. There's a short uh, road, and then it's, it's not it's not even called by the road. It's like a, a small hole over there, and just uh, and they... just can't. Yeah. Beth just gone for the twelve nexus again. I don't know about this. He's. I mean, last time he went twelve nexus. Light had a vax at the natural, and Beth just lost. This yeah, time, yeah. he's gone for the 12 Nexus. Light has a vax at the natural. I think Beth might be dead. Dead? Uh, yeah, maybe. We, we've uh, seen this before. This is, this is polypoid all over again. But, uh... I'm just curious about uh, the, the map. This distance is a little bit long. Longer than Bion Spirit or even the Eclipse, I guess. It's a little bit long. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see if Light just sends the FTVs. Mm -hmm. If he tries to do the bunker rush again, uh, yeah, yeah, hiding bunker or not. We should see about that because. Uh, oh, here he goes. It's happening. Yeah, yeah, uh, oh, he's going out still. Okay. Alright. Uh, but I'm just saying that uh, this uh, this map has a long distance. That's why Best chose 12 Nexus again, I think. Well, Light can expand behind this too. The, the Light is expanding. 
So this doesn't actually need to kill Beth. This is just trying to kill probes. Yeah, this is. He's gonna kill some probes, push. and he's just gonna take his. his... Yeah, making the situation a little bit under control for like uh, he, he, that's he's trying. Uh, he's it's just gather some SCVs to push like this. Okay, look at the micro. Oh yeah, decent micro so far. Alright, oh, really, really tough Michael so far for both players. Okay, nice. Yeah, nice hug. Nice hug. Oh, is the bunk if the bunker is finished? Oh, oh Marine, is it gonna get in? Is it? Yeah, get uh, 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 <laughs> Oh, my god. This is, I think, uh, best is not that good, I guess. He lost too too many probes, I think. What do you think? Uh, it think depends on how much health that zealot has. If that zealot is uh, low HP, then I don't I don't know. This is very even. Yeah, but uh, I think uh, the goon raid is coming. Too much. Too much. Uh, Four marines are walking around the top side. They're gonna get into this bunker. This is out of oh. range. Oh, he can destroy that, I guess. Oh, and I guess he's gonna get it. He can't target probes while you're in this bunker, so he picks that off. Zealot gonna finish off those marines, and there you go. Hey, nice hold in the end by Best. Oh, yeah, my God. Best is really much ahead. damage on those probes. I didn't make a guess yet. Complete the guess. Yeah, so this bunker, Light's gonna bunker, but it's uh, Dragoon Range is gonna be done so early that the bunker's yeah, not gonna do much. Why were we gonna do, deal with those range up? Oh my god, is it. Is there a robot? Oh, oh my god. Yeah, best is very far ahead here. Yeah, this is. I, yeah, in this situation, this is like a torture for Terra, I guess. Even he has boat to uh, prepare for the boat. One for range of goons in front of, second one is the river. Even his factory is not finished. How can he deal with that? Or oh, is it is isn't that isn't that a river? I guess? He's making third yeah, he's making third gateways right now. Hmm. Oh yeah, we'll see about that. Yeah yeah, we'll see. Might not be a river. Might not be a river, yeah. Third base mm -hmm. getting prepared for best. He might just I take that. Yeah, he's doing just uh, just doing some officer, right? Hmm, I think so. Yeah, I guess so too. Uh, yeah. This, okay. Oh my God, this robot is support pay. He's on. <laughs> With three gateways. Wow, is it? Is it possible? It is possible. But wow. it means he's not going to be placing a, a nexus. And it's, it's not going to be uh, any upgrade oh, behind oh, it. Oh my god, this is torture. <laughs> I think that he might just try a bulldog. A bulldog, okay. Bulldog is enough. I mean, uh, reasonable too. Really reasonable. Oh, ne Nexus. Uh, okay, Nexus. <laughs> so, okay, so his gateways aren't making units. Those gateways are just for safety. He's okay, not making he's units on the gateways. He just he wants them so he can make units if he needs them. I mean, no gateway yet. Then just he just uh, making a a river, a single river, right? And and a third. Just gonna add on reavers here and take a third. Some damage coming down at the front. Gonna have to be repaired out. This is dealing quite a bit. It's taking a long time to get this first tank out and actually deal with this. That at least one. That, and it's dragoon the tank's is gonna be a low ground. A this is really dangerous to try and poke at the dragoon with the tank when the Dragoon can just uh, jump back onto it. Like, yeah. the Dragoon go back and he can't see them. He doesn't know where yeah, they are. They sometimes do the suicide mission. But they, yeah, you know, at least best in right now. Uh, anyways, uh, there's a drop. Here comes drop, I guess. In Is there a river in this shuttle? There must be. I guess so. He's gonna go for the bunker here. Oh, not, not the, the bunker. Reaver. Not the bunker, okay. Oh, what? Smash oh, this what? bunker. Uh, the zealots went in late. 
Oh, oh, oh. losing three oh, drag. Oh, that was three drag. Best got it immediately. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, look at the look at the zealous Targeting. power. Look at the zealous power. Tracking yeah, through it. Yeah. These two tanks. As soon as he drops that reaver, he's gonna target it with the tank. Oh my God, they're not nice. dead. They're not dead. Reaver's still up. Big hit there on a bunch of SCVs. Oh, and what else supply. is left here? Yeah, I mean, best is up 30 supply. Invincible Zealot. Behind this with the third base. Looking very, very good. Ooh, almost lost that. Gonna drop the Reaver right next to the tank. Take that out. Oh, that so good. Again. Hey, best has done enough. GG. Yeah. GG. Like yeah, he's capping out. Is, uh, torture. I'm surprised he sent the Dragoons in first though, because you dropped the wow. Zealot, so the Zealot's gonna eat the first tank shot. But the uh, Dragoons got into tank range first, and then all three Dragoons just got blown up. Yeah, the Dra uh, Dragoons got massacred there, but he luckily was able to keep that Reaver alive and keep doing damage. Or the SCVs were forced to surround that tank, so it's a great target for those shots from the Reaver, just exploding tons of SCVs there, preventing the repair. Nice bust by best. Takes another game. Wow. What game are we on here? Going into game number six. Game six. Yeah, the map will be ultimate swing is uh, also from uh, ASL right now. ASL 11, season 11. All right, sadly, guys, I'm probably going to have to... Well, I'm definitely going to have to leave before all seven games are completed. At some point, I'll probably just slip out the back. I have to go and teach some classes. It's the very end of the school year here in Japan, so... Can't get anyone to cover me right now, but... I am going to come back and re-watch these replays at the end when I get back tonight. It's been a pleasure. Anyway, if I have to leave during this next cast, I'll just slip out the back quietly. Thank you all for coming and watching. It's been great having you, Sam. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, thank you for out of your busy schedule. Really cool hanging out with you guys for all the live viewers. Thanks for tuning in. Cheers for coming down, guys. Supporting Brood War, game that we love. Much respect, guys, for staying up late. Those of you who are on the East Coast, I know it's getting pretty darn late over there now. This is another new map. I haven't seen this one before. Yeah, Ultimate Stream. Another map. New map. In ASL uh, Season 11. I want to say this is by the maker of Ringing Bloom, Walt Scene. <laughs> Ringing Bloom? Um, Ringing Bloom is like. Well, I'm not going to tell that in detail. <laughs> uh, Cork, why don't you introduce the players for once? Okay, at uh, 5 o'clock in the yellow, we have Best as the Protoss. And at 7 o'clock in the green Terran, we have Light. Thank you, my friend. Yeah, this is like feeling a preview of the ASL, I see. Because uh, they, they're using actual ASL maps right now. Map pulls. That must be what they're practicing on right now, getting ready for the ASL. Yeah, Maybe they're actually they're coming up very soon. The ASL. Mm -hmm. So they must be practicing a lot on these maps, and you know it's a good opportunity as well for Best and Light to practice. You can just play this best of seven and try out some builds against each other, have some fun. Yeah, they're yeah they're really really preparing the tournament, so they just. They just uh, com feel comfortable to play this. I mean, this is uh, rather be simple for them. This is a new okay, experience least... for me. Haven't seen this map yet. Looks pretty cool, though. Yeah, this map, I think... Uh, yeah, this, this map is good, I guess. Not that imbalanced. Not that bad. Well, every time... Uh, this, the tournament is out. We always talk, uh, discuss about the, the this map is uh, who's favorite, you know. Uh, at least not this map, I guess. 
Oh, what? Is this a 2-Rex? 2-Rex? What? Oh, I love it. I, he's lucky that Best didn't scout him first, though. Wow, what is this? 2-Rex. Even one is hidden proxy. In ultimate stream. Yeah, the and man his name close is, position. The man name is Ultimate Stream. And he's doing... Well, I don't know what it is. And it's what just going to be Ma Mass Marine, surely. It's just going to be... He's going to fake a fast expansion. He's walling off his uh, natural. So uh, best can't scout. And then he's just going to do Mass Marine SCV push. Oh, but I think that this, that's uh, pretty... Really close to get a uh, be spotted. I mean, I guess okay, Light knows what he's doing. Uh, best is just only making Zealous and Expo. Gay Expo. Not Gas Expo. Oh, okay, this uh, is not a wall in. Uh oh. <laughs> a bit of a mistake there from Light, okay. I think. That is uh, not a wall. What building did Light just cancel? Was it like a third Vax? Best probably feels know. something. Yeah, since, uh, since, uh, since, uh, I, I feel like it would be a supply depot. I mean, he really needs one right now. That, that's, uh, that building he canceled was too big to be a supply depot. Yeah, something strange is going on, but uh, yeah, he's just trying to find it. He's, it was his he marines at the natural. Lost a marine oh. in the main as well. Yeah, this doesn't look like best. Best knows something's going on. He just doesn't know what. Oh, oh Pope kills another marine. I take. Light is... I think Light is testing this build, but I think the testing is has shown that this build is not the build. Yeah, I mean, it, like this, this build is going back it. to <laughs> this build getting retired. Oh. Okay, what what is there? What is that? Light is going out. How's our attack? He's yeah, it's the Marines. Marines. Does he actually have... We get our SCVs, even. SCVs coming, there they are. I think Best oh, should just oh sacrifice God, the Nexus. Is... I think Best just leaves the Nexus, doesn't defend it. He doesn't need it, oh. he's so far ahead, he doesn't need... He can just build a shield battery in his main. Oh my God, this is... Surprising, I mean... Best, run away! Run away, don't, don't fight the Marines! There's SCVs, run away! <laughs> there we go. Looks like he's gonna okay, abandon now. Good. Abandon ship. Cancels Cancel the bunker, bunker and, and he goes, he's just gonna come. Oh, he's again? coming. He's going for it. Oh my nice god. Nice blocking there. Light. SCVs. Huge blocks. SCV is blocking shield very, battery. very well. I, I, I need a shield Invincible battery. SCVs. Invincible SCVs. Killing off oh, so many shield probes battery. here. Here comes the bunker. Oh, Great targeting god. there by Light. Oh Focus firing. God. Excellent work here. Okay, he will eventually lose these three. if he doesn't get the bunker up. Oh. There are three dragoons out, but oh, so many probes have fallen. Look at the ping pong. All right. Oh my God! They're so low on both of these dragoons. Uh, Almost no HP they're here. They're gonna get. Where is that melting? Ah, saved. Does he? He have doesn't even need to get range. Yet. He can win with these three dragoons. He doesn't need any oh. more dragoons than he has. He just needs range. Where's the range? Oh, uh, these two dragons fall. Uh, this is... Okay, three, three goes, three goes. I think Best has it. I think Best is fine. Yeah, yeah, Best is fine. Really fine. Like gonna abandon his attack, jump into the bunker here. Try to that. maybe kill off some of these, these uh, two gateways. He's still got a lot of Marines coming. Got three uh, Best SCVs doesn't actually need any more dragoons. Best has enough so dragoons now to win the game. Oh, he picks off an SCV there. One low HP SCV gets picked off. This bunker will fall. And it looks like Best going to clean up everything. And what chances does Light have now that his None. <laughs> attack has been foiled? Yeah. GG. He didn't even get the Nexus. Yeah, I think I think that build is getting retired. He tried it. It, it looked interesting, but it's uh, it's not the build for this map. Oh yeah, this is uh, really top game.
Guys, we got a tiebreaker. Yeah, tiebreaker. Uh, Just so why? <laughs> Just I am expected, really. Oh, so sad, guys. I gotta go. You gotta Very go? sad. I'm not gonna be able to see this last game. Yeah, I gotta go to work. Super unfortunate, but uh, I've really enjoyed this series so far. Good luck in that last game, guys. Hope you enjoy it. Thanks, Sam, for joining us. Thank you, everybody who came out to watch. Thank you. Hype, hype, hype. Last game. Best versus yeah, light. Yeah. See you guys. Ah, uh, you're going. Okay. See you. <laughs> See ya. Oh, man. Next weird. map is Hidden Track. I want to say this is by the Korean map maker Earth Attack. Shout out to Minerals, the American map maker who got a map into the ASL map contest called Turbine. Yeah, Hidden Track. Uh, this, uh, from, uh, this is made by Earth, Earth Attack. Uh, this map is uh, this map has a very very uh, long distance third gas. You see. No middle exposed, just natural is fine, but what about the getting dirt? That's the problem. That's the problem uh, to to turn, I guess, in TP. Yeah, really especially with the shuttle style. Yeah, well, I, uh, well, the shuttles are annoying for that. I mean, but, but this is really long distance. It's, it, it's really hard to get it. So I think uh, I will do the Fast early pushes or maybe fast harassment, I guess. And this is the fast proxy match. This is this bat is going in the middle of the map. Okay, looks like he's doing yeah, a this is PBS. PBS. <laughs> Perfectly timed. Oh. Oh. I think Light has somewhere to be. I think Light has an appointment in like ten minutes and he's just gonna end the series. Oh my god. He goes, win, lose, I don't care, it's going to be done in five minutes. Ah, yeah, uh, I, yeah, we miss Aya, because it will be over less than three minutes, oh, I guess. Yeah. Best is going Nexus, Best is going Nexus first. What? 12 Nexus? Oh my god, it's, it's real, 12 Nexus. Yep, yeah, okay, this one's done. Ah, uh, disaster, disaster. Disaster, no, don't do it. No. <laughs> and this is the third 12 Nexus in the seven game series. I mean, this, uh, this deserves it at this point. If you keep going 12 Nexus and they go bounce in the middle of the map, you deserve that. that. Maybe he knows that. Uh, it doesn't matter that he knows. What's he going to do? Build a forge? Cross scout. Cross scout. He's cancelled. He cancelled that. He cancelled that. Okay. Better. Much better. Much better than just completed that completely. Oh my god, this is <laughs> this is like a I mean this is not standard. I mean this is you're not I never experienced about this such a situation about this. Oh best what deserves this? this. If you keep going 12 Nexus, you deserve this. <laughs> I mean even even Terran is never expected about this situation, man. Oh. Okay, he's uh, keep keep pushing with the on incompleted bunker, and his uh, probes are going on more than nine. Nine probes are going on and hugging, hugging, keep hugging right now. Boris are not dead. Gundams are dead. Okay, uh, the SCVs are dead. He kills the SCVs. He's, he's held. Oh, this yeah, is a good game. Now. I'm having fun. I think this is just Zealots this against Marines. This is like yes. 2002 StarCraft, where nobody knows how to play. Just Zealots and Marines fighting. Oh my god, best won the game, I think. He can capture the Braggs if, if, if he doesn't make waste his Zealots. Yeah, it's two, zealot, two Gateway Zealots against two Rax Marines. Zealots win that. Oh, the lightest supply block. Okay, 18 out of 18. Marcus Junior is crying for victory. <laughs> Light is still supply blocked. He's been supply blocked for so long. Yeah. He's oh, he's only starting it now. 
Oh, he only just started it. Oh, man. Oh, okay. melting ketchup. Well, he's oh. not supplied like that anymore, but I mean, it's, it's oh. not good. Ah, oh. oh, torture. This is torture. Even like we got the two mixes. Even we countered that. <laughs> that supply block was so long. He was on 18 out of 18 for like 10 seconds. And then we go to light space and he's only now starting the supply depot. He floated the two drags? To do the economy game for now? I don't think there's any economy game coming from this one. I don't think it's, it would be possible to do a... No. To a late game? I mean, best will not... We're not just watching it. I think we're gonna yeah, see he's Academy. Going he's going up, he's going up. Uh, even it's possible to run by now. It's, it's even possible to run by for, for Zealots. Oh! Is, is it possible to go inside at least? Okay, it was possible, but what about the run by? What about the run by? Ah, uh, he's suffering. I mean, he's. He's suffering too much. Oh. Yeah, oh. and just look at the supply. It's 15 against 25. <laughs> okay, so best wins 12 Nexus against PBS. That's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, so now... That supply box was terrible. Yes, and only two that. STVs. If, if the bunker goes down, that's such a different game. But he, he doesn't send any STVs. Yeah, oh, that's a really surprising game. Two men, two men. Ah, really, this is like two men. Oh, really? Steve, could you thank uh, them uh, in your wonderful language? At least, uh, okay, it seems like they're gone. So, those were wonderful games. Thank uh, okay, you, Cork uh, and Steve, for joining us. We had a tiebreaker match, folks. So, that was an extra we... layer of excitement, I think. Just as I expected, uh, yeah. Four versus three for both. We did that. I mean, uh, wow, that was okay. So, uh, yeah, I'm. Oh, they're they're just gone. They're just gone. They're pro and... gamers. Yeah, they yeah, got yeah, things to do. Gone. And we want to thank them just... for participating yeah. in this. Uh foreign organized show match dedicated to the foreign brood war community. I really thought Light was going to win the series. He was kicking like, ass those, at those first. first. Yeah, those first few Light games, the, uh, the Polypoid, he just scouts the 12 next and kills it. Easy. Game after that, uh, he scouts the carriers, six pack, kills it. Like, Light was looking so dominant. Even the Fighting Spirit game, he just... He kills one Dragoon, and then he goes, okay, yeah, I can kill you from here, and just does it. He, his, his wins look unstoppable. Okay, I said Subo to Bass right now. Uh, maybe you should uh, say them. I mean, not only Bass, but also Light. Later. Thank you, Steve. Yeah, you should... I mean, also you should you should tell them uh, just once again. Well, they're they're gamers, you know. They're actual pro players. Oh, you guys got out or something? No. Okay, so I did thank Bess, and I did mm -hmm. send a message that maybe Light didn't receive, but uh, early yeah, on we we out. did thank them. We're taking time out of their busy schedules. It's a good game for us. Uh, you as well, Steve. And uh, Saiyan, who we just missed during the last game. And Quark. It's really nice and for you Quark to be Jr. casting and babysitting at the same time. You're always talking about Light and the builds that he's taught you. 
Yeah, Korg, uh, though you're, you failed to go on offer the PSA round. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you just, yeah, you're just babysitting, okay? You just keep doing babysitting. And I have nothing better to do, and... Yeah, thanks for inviting us. I mean, uh, this is a very good experience. Though, uh, maybe I made a training mistake with that. You know, I made a training mistake. It was it's, awesome it's having even, you, Steve. Yeah, it's, it's even the first time for, for actual cast for that, in English. And maybe lots of times in Korean, not actual, uh, not English, I mean, never. Well, I, 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 I have never thought about that I'm gonna do joking or something. I never feeling about joking. Yeah, maybe I could do it, but I no, no, I could do it. Hopefully, we'll have more pro gamer show matches, and of course. Oh yeah, yeah. Corner show matches, like we had the Walter Standy yesterday, and maybe we can try to pair up pro gamers with foreigners. Lag seems to be an issue, time zone differences, but uh, that won't stop us from trying to include inclusive maybe, events. Yeah, maybe the uh, maybe the period between the ASL and ASL are all all finished. I don't know, maybe not. Uh... I'm not sure, because they, uh, they're, uh, I mean, they have really, really top scheduled for the uh, for ASL and ASL both. Even except for the AS ASL and ASL, they have a spawn match every day. We're getting some money, you know. They're they're doing some their own pro league, team league. I mean, they're always doing, yeah, doing uh, do that to we'll earn some lots of money. So yeah, what I'm saying was uh, that's the really hard, but you did that. You did that. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, that's, uh, yeah, I'm just You're hoping that I, we we can see them more. <laughs> we can see more, not only light but also rush or something. We'll try our best. So I hope everyone enjoys Trovo, their platform. Uh, big shout out again to Sushi from Alpha X StarCraft 2 team, sponsored by Trovo and Matcherino and Africa TV. Uh, thank you guys so much for organizing this lovely event. It was fun. And uh, my apologies for, uh, I guess, the laggy games and probably all kinds of mistakes I made while observing. It was really fun for me. I do feel selfish that I didn't want to give that spot to anyone else. So please do forgive me. But I'm sure you can understand, right? <clears throat> Who gets to be inside a game with uh, two pro gamers? Mm, yeah. What about I do the observer then? Uh, yeah, that's reasonable. But uh, how, how can I stream that? Yeah, it's not reasonable, Steve. I will never let you observe the pro gamers instead yeah, of me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean... I love... Uh, I love the opportunity until it's, you know, a matter of you can't observe this. We need somebody from the country, then I'll consider it. But for now, yeah, yeah. I'm going to hog that opportunity. Guys, Trovo, wonderful platform. They got a streamer program. You can learn about it. They pay people based on their performance called the Trovo 500 program. And we're trying to get Brood War streamers who can be players. They can be tournament organizers into uh, Trovo, create more StarCraft content. We're probably one of the first StarCraft uh, streaming events on this platform. But in the future, I hope to see many more people on Trovo streaming Brood War on top of, you know, Twitch and YouTube, Africa TV. Any kind of shout out you want to give, Steve, about yourself, about others? Oh yeah, uh, I'm. Yeah, I'm. Uh, well, yeah, just for fun, come to my channel and just doing this dumb shit. <laughs>
<laughs> I'm, I'm just doing joking things every day. And you can find Steve at uh, twitch.tv slash 21 Steve Young, J U N G. And uh, he's a very likable character who mingles with the foreign community. And we really appreciate that. Alright guys, I think I am going to do my first raid on right. Trovo. I've been asked by Sushi to raid. I believe oh, Lady Thanks for having us. Thank you, Cork. I appreciate you casting the games with Steve and Sane. And uh, yeah, look forward to more of these events. We got the Best of the Best tour on Fridays and Saturdays on our uh, Twitch. Team Think Quick TTV. We have a YouTube page, Team Think Quick TTV. So, looking forward to hosting more events and hanging out with the casters and players, and hopefully provide some decent content for you guys while we uh, figure this whole COVID future of humanity question. Yeah, that was fun, man. See you guys. Thanks, Steve. Uh, bon appetit. I know you didn't have lunch yet, so do. Oh, I did lunch. I got lunch. Oh, yeah, so you were eating while you were casting Light and Best Live? Oh, no, no, no. no. I, I just. Uh, I'm just kidding. I realized that early in advance that I can eat, eat lunch early. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Uh, somehow I believe you didn't have lunch yet, but uh, I appreciate it. Thanks. Yeah, it was, uh, it, it started in 1 p.m. in Korea, so yeah, no deal. Because I can eat that uh, 12 p.m. Uh, anyways, um, well, I, I'm, I'm about to say best in Korean, uh, uh, thank you, but uh, yeah, I have no idea. Uh, well, Why don't you say goodbye greeting in Korean? That would be a oh lovely yeah, way. I did, I did that, but um, I mean, after that. What is this? Oh, uh, well. Uh... Yeah, what about Quark, man? Quark doesn't say anything. Alright, you, you get, I uh, probably, uh, you probably babysitting right now, right? You probably are baby babysitting right now. Okay. Oh, uh, anyways, um, well, I'm just asking you about, uh, can I ask you two questions about that? If you're talking to me, sure, yeah. Well, okay. I tried to figure uh, out how to rate somebody you, on this Trovo you, platform. Okay, did you finish the stream right now? The, we are still streaming. You are being uh, captured. It's going to be on YouTube. It'll be online forever. <laughs> Everyone will always have this to remember uh, I, you I by. Just... So make your words count. I'm still here, but the baby is crying. So I'm trying to keep the microphone off. Uh, I'm just... Uh, you know why? About... Because light lost. And that's why Quark Jr. is crying. Are you saying that Quark Jr. plays Terran? Quark I think Jr. it was your joke that I'm stealing that uh, became somewhat of a famous joke. You're pro man. Why? Why do you make? Why do? You, why are you making your your child as Terran? Man? I mean, it's not serious. It was joking. I don't know. This is what a Terran player sounds like. They do cry a lot. <laughs> Uh, all right. All right. Anyways, uh, I'm just saying, I'm just curious about that. Do you have an actual trans translator? I mean, interpreter or something? Oh, is isn't is not working? Uh, These are the words you want everybody to remember, you guys, Steve. Oh, me? Oh, well, I'm nothing to say, but I'm just saying. Uh, I'm just asking you about the you have interpreter or something in t uh, team, team Quick TV. 
If we have what? I'm sorry, I didn't understand. I'm a translator, Korean. You are our Korean translator. I don't understand. Okay, all right. All Welcome right. to Team Think Quick, Steve. All right, all right. All right. The I joke's on everybody. Team Think Week is a reference to all of us. It's not like something outside of you guys. I consider us all family and part of the same team. Well, I'm just curious about that. Um, maybe I... Uh, yeah, You're maybe looking I for a full-time translator job? Uh, not really. <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying that I could help you then in advance. Uh, that uh, they, if they need to talk or interview, even yeah, yeah, Koreans, I, yeah, of course, Steve. I mean, and there's... interacting with Korean viewers. I mean, this event it was hosted at a time that was not very uh, friendly to North Americans, Europeans, mm -hmm. and uh, huh. the players stream. They're allowed to stream on their own platform, so their followers are naturally going to go and watch their bots. Yeah, first person point of view. I mean, uh -huh. I'm just about the players, actual players, uh, you have to interact them. But I don't know the information about, uh, what is that, uh, how, uh, map pools or maybe, I, if I could not... I don't think it's like too difficult. I mean, that's not the reason I invited you. I invited you because I wanted to hang out with you and have fun casting. Mm -hmm. I mean, the map mm -hmm. pool, they can just decide or I can just throw out a bunch of names and they know mm -hmm. that's what needs to be played. But I had fun asking you to interact with them. I do appreciate yeah, you yeah. doing it. And in the future, yeah, sure. Why don't you join us and uh, we'll get well, same right. or different casters. The, the whole thing that we got going on is alternating casters and creating different casting teams. And while three people might seem like a lot, uh, because we host so many events and sometimes they're very long, I think it's a bit too much for two casters, especially if they're the same ones. So, and it's good to give different people or as many people opportunities to cast who are really passionate about it. And fortunately, we have 10 or more people who just love casting and uh, we'll continue to include them in our events, which is in line with our inclusive philosophy. Can we make oh. some pro gamers play Neo Requiem? I haven't seen that map in a long time and I want to see it. <laughs> we could have probably done that today, but I just didn't want to throw map names at them. I think that worked out for the best because they got to pick and practice on, uh, and we got to show some of the new ASL maps. I, I didn't even know they were finalized or selected. But those are, that's kind of like a, I guess a sneak preview of what ASL map games are going to be like. To answer your question, we could try to sneak one in there for the next series. I think it'd be funny to just have standard maps from the current ladder and then also Neo Requiem. Oh, yeah, I mean, uh... okay, anyways. All right, folks. You didn't this... like that idea. The whole time I was stalling uh, to figure out how to rate someone on this platform, which isn't working out, so we'll shut this baby down. It's been really fun. Thanks for joining me, guys. Yeah, I mean, that would be rough, Quark. Those were great games. We had, uh, I think Yapsap and Ample also had a tiebreaker, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. That was decent. It was a very, very inviting game. They just uh, tried to hit each other, like uh, inviting boxing, not just outside outside the corner like uh, Mayweather or someone. They just tried to <laughs> invite and tried to punch him the, their stomach, chest, face. I mean, this that was really like inviting, you know. Yeah. I want to see some peaks of back juice. I want to see that map again. Map pool? You mean map pool? I think it's a map with the name Peaks in there. Yes, uh, Sin Peaks of uh, Bekju. <laughs> Sin Peaks of Bekju. Get out of here, Quark, with your... That's a very old map. Wacky map. It's a good one. 
That's yeah, the one that's... that first had the uh, Harrogate, uh, Visa against uh, Proxy. With the uh, proxy, two proxy. gateways inside his base. Yeah. It's not even Proxy, it was uh, your base, your base two gateways. Yeah, it was so good. Yeah. That's... That's more like a... Uh, horrible. <laughs> that's, that's more like... <laughs> Mockery. I mean, it's just, it's just, you can't build. You can build a building in in your opponent's base. You can't. You did that. Shout out to my fleeting dream who helps us organize events and been with us since day one. Thank you, my friend, for watching. Hope your family's doing well. Baby's doing well. Our series. Let's have some Oh, there's a lot yeah, I, I, want, I want to have a show match with only really old maps on it. How well would the meta transfer onto those maps? I don't care. I, you know, I, I, don't, I wouldn't mind seeing care. Lost Temple. To be honest, I, I kind of want to see a game on Lost Temple and not the edited one. The one with the wide uh, main on 3 o'clock where you can tank the hell out of 12 o'clock. Uh... <laughs> uh, staging tanks on uh, the edge of your cliff. You guys remember that? We'd have to like fill up our goddamn shuttles. Well, you'd get one shuttle because it's too expensive to make several, and then you'd be doing the elevator thing for like five minutes. Yeah, that was fun. And Terran's building a civilization on your natural cliffs. Good teenage memories on Lost Temple. Okay, guys, I gotta go to bed, so uh, thank you for having me. Yeah, take care, Quark. And uh, viewers, I apologize, I think Quark's volume is too loud. I should have lowered it. Steve, thank you. Oh, yeah, yeah. Thanks, thanks for inviting me. Yeah, it was fun. Really fun. You have a good <laughs> really day, fun. my friend. Take care. Yeah, yeah. Take care, man. See ya. All right. Love you guys. See you then. Stay okay. safe. Healthy. Stay safe. Alright. Thanks. I'll see you then. Bye.